All right, three, two. All right, and we are live. The last word with Ebontis returns, and we have a special guest, I believe. <laughs> we do indeed. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Normally, you know, he sets me up. We do these elaborate intros sometimes, kind of a little, little Iron Lord podcast flavor for the last word. But this is family. This is the screen. This is what we game with. This is Aww. Wilhelm screen, but also known to you as one of the big Destiny content creators out here. Huge fan of his content, and he always figures out ways to manipulate the system. <laughs> uh, he is definitely the one just looking for the look, looking for that one piece of uh, texture that Bungie forgot to put in. Mm-hmm. So he's out there. Absolutely, for man. Trolling Reddit. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Scream, man. What help Scream? What's going on, man? I'm doing good, guys. Thanks so much for having me back today. I'm really excited. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So much fun to stuff to talk about. And absolutely, well, man. Lots so... of good things. So uh, mm-hmm. glad to have you back, sir. Been a little bit. What have you been up to? Well, uh, I was traveling a little bit and um, went on a couple of vacations. I went to... Um, oh, the tough actually, life. Wow. Uh, a couple yeah. of vacations. Well, it's, yeah, it's a little bit overdue. And <laughs> I, I've, I've called this the summer of Wilhelm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, and I actually went to uh, the... Uh, what is it? The Not the OzFest tour, but mm-hmm. uh, the um, Warp tour. 25th okay. anniversary which is like the biggest festival i've never gone to a festival tour before mm-hmm. my wife and i mm-hmm. so that this year and there was like thirty thousand people there on the second mm-hmm. night when like blink 182 and the uh, mm-hmm. offspring played it was crazy mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's what i've been up to and traveling and doing some work uh when i can you know trying to mm-hmm. always find something <laughs> I hate you, man. And enjoying hate the game, you know, when I can get a chance to play. I love I the new exotic quests and stuff. No doubt. No. So you've been playing a lot lately or just been so busy you haven't been playing as much? Well, it's like I I usually can get on, you know, like I say Tuesdays mm-hmm. <laughs> are the day that I try to play the mm-hmm. the most. So usually after reset, I'll get on and uh, in the afternoon or later in the evening and, and try to get at least four or five hours in over the course of nice. a, you know, a week just to see. And usually I, I try to know what I want to do before I go in. Otherwise, mm-hmm. I'll I'll get lost in it at this point. There's so much stuff. <laughs> it's so That's much. a fair You're point, like, man. Yeah, I was like, there is mm-hmm. so much going on to do. So uh, nice. anything else with you? Oh, um, well, you know, n- I, nothing, nothing uh, too major as far as life changes. But, um, I mean, looking forward in a couple of months to the new expansion, which looks oh, yeah. like it's going to be pretty awesome. And uh, mm-hmm. I'm trying to see a movie every once in a while. You know? All right. Filming yeah. you still rocking. Yeah, yeah, trying to keep up, you know. Nice, 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 nice. That's what's up, man. Oh, TV's awesome. so good these days, so it's like... Oh, yeah. I can't keep home. up with any of this stuff. I don't have enough time to do any of the stuff that I want to do anymore. It's ridiculous yeah. now. It's, uh, I mean, yeah, it's a very much first world problem, but I was like... There's a lot of TV shows shows I'd love to watch. There's quite a few games I never like finished, much less hardly like stepped into. Right. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. That that too. Yeah. It's like I I was I think I was mentioning to you I, I bought Risk of Rain too, yep. which mm-hmm. I saw like a trailer for. <laughs> I forget it. I, I, maybe it was E3. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. A big gaming expo of uh, just like mm-hmm. a couple of months ago, and mm-hmm. I, it was like, oh, this looks like such a fun little game. Mm-hmm. I'll pick it up, and my buddy and I p- picked it up just to play it. We, mm-hmm. I got to play like two hours of it, and I've been meaning to go back to it. But it's mm-hmm. like, if I have time to play, I'm like, oh, I'll play some Destiny, you know. <laughs> see if there's some content I can get, you know, while I'm playing. Mm-hmm. So I at least feel like I'm I'm doing something else. No, <laughs> yeah. says it's PAX East. That's what he thinks. Mm-hmm. I think PAX East, yeah. It's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, well, yeah, it was the same thing with that exact game, too. I did pick it up. It's not, you know... Kind of a little indie, kind of fun little run around shooter. I'm yeah, I think of what you would call the uh, what it almost kind of reminds me of like Gauntlet. If you remember, mm, Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, I remember Gauntlet. So, Gauntlet. yeah, it's kind of like a sci fi version. Um, mm-hmm. I can't think of the term of the damn game, mm-hmm. like a romper stomper. No, it's like it's like <laughs> Dead Cells, like it's like you, you know, go through, you get a little farther every time, you kind of learn, but you start over fresh. I cannot think of the damn word. I'm like blanking a on Mania or uh, not mm. quite. No, um, 
not a souls like um no wow mm. This is what you do. Like, by the way, terms. if you've ever been like listening to a podcast and be like, how can you not think of that word, the specific word? You should know yep. all the things. This You're on the moment and you blank completely. So just heads up that happens. This, this is it. It's that moment. <laughs> <laughs> all three of us are there. So it's even like. <laughs> so I'm not describing it well, but it's. Um... it's no, I think good. you are. I just can't think of it. Like, I, I, all I can say is I think it, it reminds me of. Is it 2D or is it over the top? Is it, is it two, it's what, 3D. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's 3D, 3D. But it's, yeah, it's, it's like. like a, Minecrafty kind of three. It's different, but you know, like blocky yeah. and. Yeah, I gave up. I'm throwing a towel in. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> At some point, I'll just like scream the word out, and then I'll know exactly what it is. So what's up, Agamondo? Mm-hmm. Agamondo. Uh, well, obviously, you guys know we have some Destiny stuff to talk about today. We got some news about mm-hmm. Shadow Keep over the course of the past week. Uh, we got mm-hmm. some news on a nice stylized, stylized way to uh, knock some of our enemies out. So we'll talk about those a little bit. We got a little. Uh, Armor discussion coming to us, and of course the twelve little iron banner coming around the corner. But before we get mm-hmm. to the Destiny talk, we got to talk about some uh, other things that happen in the world. Comic Con is going on right now, so mm-hmm. wanted to touch on that a little bit, guys. So, um, what uh, what have you guys seen from Comic Con that has piqued your interest? I know there's one we kind of briefly touched on before. Give me mm-hmm. one thing. Anything you've seen so far, Cognito? I've been real light with my Comic Con coverage. I've been watching like specific geek things, but nothing like major, major. So I was like literally looking at like somebody, it's a sub, uh, that somebody I've subscribed to that uh, he is like a big Transformers guy. So I was like, oh, new G1 toys, cool. <laughs> and then I saw, um, so I saw Marvel Ultimate Alliance, which I'm playing, and um, they showed some new characters that look really cool. Cyclops is coming. Hype about that, okay. and then um, but I've been kind of kind of light. So you guys gonna have to educate me on what you guys have been seeing because I really haven't been, you know, playing. Oh, salute to the Red Queen of the realm. She said she's driving, but wanted to say hi, and you guys <laughs> have a blessed day. Salute to the Queen. We yeah, need you in the realm of the last word. <laughs> Well, thank much you very much. It. I know it's like we had some uh, travel things, mm-hmm. but we will get you on here soon. Cannot wait to have you. Yes. Miss Queen yes. crushing it up yes. there. So. Salute. But yeah, you guys have to educate me, man. What's going on at uh, Comic-Con? Well, before Clearly, you take, I'm before, I was like, before you take it all, Scream. Um, <laughs> Please. Because I, I was like, in the world of Comic-Con and movies, like, I know mm-hmm. a good amount, but you've got me usually destroyed on this knowledge. So oh, it's the film I don't know. Boy. I don't know. I you know film I film buff. Of, I don't know. I saw a lot like... of my stuff on uh, YouTube, so I was you know, it's always like I know Comic Con is going on, and when you see the big trailer start, to yeah, that's on YouTube, like there's mostly like... that that I'm talking about. So for yeah, me, yeah. the big one, and I'm gonna steal it. Mm-hmm. Top Gun Please. Maverick. Mm-hmm. Oh, Trailer drop. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have good. All right, you have already know all the feels, all the feels. I saw my timeline going crazy. I've yes, seen it. of course. Big movie. It should be awesome. And honestly, this is another one of those where like. They have the camera shot in the trailer where it's like, "Hey, what crazy ridiculous thing has Tom Cruise like done now?" Mm-hmm. Well, it was like, okay, so it was Stark. It was a um, Mission Impossible Fallout. And he's like Mm. flying the helicopter and they've got the cameras in there. And it's like the solo shot and stuff like that. So then, of course, you know, Top Gun Maverick, you've got him like with the side shot, like in old school Top Gun, where it's like, Mm. cool, let me give me the salute. And then I go. And then it cuts to him with a camera in his face in the cockpit, Mm. takes off of the aircraft carrier. And he's the one flying the damn thing. So it looks like Mm. he now knows how to fly a jet. And I was like, of course he does. It's Tom (laughs) Cruise. Why wouldn't he? (laughs) Of course. That's but the so. maneuver he does in the end, I was like, I don't know if it's one of those that he actually got to do, but oh man, I can't wait. But like, I don't care if like the reviews are like, this movie is the worst movie ever. I'm still going to go see it in theaters, probably in IMAX, as big a screen as possible. Cause I don't know. Now, the only thing I was wondering, cause I thought about Top Gun, it's just got like a couple classic songs. I wonder mm. if the soundtrack can live up to the first one. Cause I honestly don't know if it can. Those songs are too like classic and fitting that I don't know if like whatever songs go with the new one can even hold up. <laughs> what you think, Screen? Well, to... <laughs> he's about to. You heard that elaborate. That was a, a very elaborate. Well, he's about to set us up. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, big breath, big breath, get it all out. Here we go. Here we go. Let Let's me just go. breathe out quickly. Uh, to well, to build on everything he just said, um, mm-hmm. Kenny Loggins. Is coming back for the music. Oh, snap. 
Okay. Um, there is a major character who is in the movie mm -hmm. who you didn't see in this trailer mm. because I'm almost positive mm -hmm. they're, tra they're saving him for trailer two because mm. it's too big of a thing to okay. drop in trailer one. Okay. okay. All the shots mm -hmm. of all the planes are 100% real. Oh. So there's very little, I don't think there's any CGI. So yes, I would say if you're going to see a movie in IMAX, this is going to be that movie to see because mm. the shots are just going to be insane. From what I've seen in the trailer, the shots are absolutely insane. Um, and so were the ones in the original movie. I mean, people used those plain, you know, those, those aerial battle shots, those dogfight shots in literally like every major movie after yeah. that and yeah. television show that had a, a dogfight in it for like mm -hmm. the next, well, they still do. They still mm -hmm. use those shots from the original movie. So mm -hmm. I'm sure they're going over the top with this. Mm -hmm. Tom Cruise is a producer, so they let him do whatever he wanted. I don't know if he can fly the plane or if they just set up a camera in the plane mm -hmm. and like, like a, somebody a else is flying behind him or something. Yeah. Or in front of him because those F-18s do have dual cut and it'd be very yep. easy to do that. But yeah. he would still need to be in it holding on to the G-force of that, which is a mm -hmm. that's a whole thing, you know. Right. So did you know uh, about that, in the original Top Gun what he asked for, like as part of his... Um, I don't know what you'd call it, like his like contract or whatever with the original Tom Gun. Uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah. Do you know what he asked for? What did, um, he, ask for, sir? What did he ask for? He got to have fly with the Blue Angels. Oh, oh yeah! Wow. wow. Yeah. So it was one of his things. Is like he wanted to do that, like go on the go on the ride along and stuff like that with them. He's like, hey, I got to do this. Got to kind of feel it for real. So that was mm -hmm. kind of one of those things. He got to fly along with them. I was like, oh. and like, now he's got to know, do so many cool things. Yeah, he's he's off the off off the chain on stuff now. But it's like he's 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 also like I mean, if I'm being perfectly honest and I don't want to be dark about it, but like mm -hmm. I when I heard they were doing a top gun again, I'm like yeah. I think this is the movie that Tom Cruise is gonna die doing. Like wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like, like jets. He's gonna yeah, go so crazy. Yeah, like yeah. jets. Like you don't come back from jets if you have an accident. No. And I've seen like the last mm. couple of Mission Impossible movies. Ones that mm. when he's the producer, mm -hmm. he just does any. They can't stop him from stop doing him the thing. From doing the thing. No. So he does such crazy stuff. And like, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, they're doing Top Gun. I'm like, okay, it's like seminal movie of his career. Mm -hmm. he's bringing it back. The Is character, it? one of his most beloved characters. Iconic character. Yeah, most iconic characters. I'm like, he is going to do so many crazy things. Mm -hmm. He's going to die. It's going to be an amazing <laughs> movie. <laughs> salute, salute. But he made it. But he made it through. So great. Maybe, through. We'll get a, maybe we'll get another Top Gun. But yeah, up. I'm. I was more excited for that than probably anything else. No doubt. Nice. No doubt. Just for the cinematic. You know, like I mean, it could be a horrible storyline, but the shots mm -hmm. and the stunts and everything. Oh, the, and that last one... shot you told me, what he goes over, that was nuts. Oh yeah, because it's the, that's the shot right before that with the four that line up, they're fairly low, fairly low along the water, and then they turn. Oh, where he's on the and deck. It's got, yeah. like, but it's like they turn over the water, and it's got like the, it's a whatever. I'm sure there's a name for the effect, but it's like the fog that goes over the plane, like kind of the back wings as they hit a hard turn, and the, the four of them hit it yeah. together. Yeah, it looks so cool. So. Right, yeah, and when they that dip over the that oh, just up and it goes up sideways and flips over the mountain. Sure, oh, you guys man. are not having nostalgia like y'all claim I do with Vault of Glass. <laughs> uh, no, Top Gun like still a bunch of nostalgia. Top Gun still, still a good movie. Now, it was, it was I've watched Top Gun recently. Alone. It's still good. That doesn't mean just because you watched it a bunch of times doesn't mean it's good. It could be you looking through rose colored glasses <laughs> like I looked through with Vault of Glass, like you say. <laughs> I'm a, I'm aware of these. I got things, a poke to be. This is hard. I am I'm okay with something it. Something that he loves with a passion, and I get to poke him. I love this. This is great. Uh, Continue. <laughs> Yes. I mean, it could be the worst movie ever. I'll see it three times. Just exactly. Yeah. Now you know how I feel about Volta Glassy. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that feeling when you what that you've said the faces? entire time. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if I can roll my eyes hard enough. I love it. One. That was a great eye roll. That was, that was great disgust that you displayed. I loved it. It was awesome. All right. <laughs> so that <laughs> dropped. Uh, the only other major trailer I saw was well apparently a trailer for a cats movie dropped and people are not thrilled but 
Haven't yeah, checked too much I, into that. I don't know. So, and mm-hmm. then I did see the trailer for it too. Now, mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys are horror movie people at all. No, maybe yes. Yeah, I watch it. Yeah, I watch it all. So, mm-hmm. you know, that's you do. So, uh, and that was this thing for me. Sorry, this is not a movie podcast for like five minutes. Yeah, this is the last word in the movies. <laughs> <laughs> This but is no, their, this, like, is their, their, this is their side project. I'm here tuning yeah. in. <laughs> but for me, honestly, when it comes to like horror movies, I've seen a fair share. I've seen the slashers. I've seen the gory ones. I've seen a decent amount over time. But like the recent it, when I actually saw it in theaters, was a pleasant surprise because it had multiple levels to like the like villains they're fighting. It's not just the clown. Like it's king, so mm-hmm. it's always going to be a little darker. But and that's why I was like, okay. And then obviously they set it up for a second one, and. Mm-hmm. That's where it actually got really cool for me is that like the cast is awesome. And if they do the second one as well with like the plot twists and the depth of the characters and things like that, that's what I can't wait for. So mm-hmm. kind of looking forward to it too as well. And that's actually not that far away either. So it's in the fall. Yeah. I'm assuming around Christmas, like October. Or something. Oh, I think it's like September. So oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That looks good too. I do like horror films. Uh, I, I mean, I loved the original like television version of it. If you ever saw that, that was nice. So freaky when I was a kid. That was one of the mm-hmm. scariest movies I ever saw. The uh, yeah. remake I thought was pretty good too, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, the trailer was freaky. Mm-hmm. Of course, I thought they came up with a game. Maybe I'm getting no, I'm getting confused with the thing. Stranger Things had oh. a little game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it came up with a game. Mm-hmm. And then this is just a little personal note. If any of you guys are car people out there, I tweeted it out as well. Oh, yeah. But that's why I'm wearing the shirt in honor, because this is the Stingray <laughs> shirt. I got there it actually go. at the Corvette Museum. So the nice. brand new 2020 Corvette is uh, is actually out there in the wild. The pictures are real. So they revealed it last night. They did a whole presentation, kind of tied it in with the moon landing and Ooh, uh, the wow. astronauts and stuff. So they were talking wow. about the anniversary of that. And actually, like for history, if you guys don't know, most astronauts owned Corvettes. Mm-hmm. Like that was a pairing yeah, that they actually I had. That, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. most That's astronauts. Educate me, sir. It was basically just the fact that like they wanted to like, I mean, they're driving spaceships, they're going fast, mm-hmm. like they and they're pilots anyway, so they want like a speed. And it was like the American sports car, so like GM mm-hmm. paired up with NASA, and it's like. Most of them had, like, special versions or customized. There was one trio of astronauts. They each had, like, red, white, and blue. And then the pinstripes would be of the other two cars. So each one had all three red, white, and blue colors on the car in some way or another. So they had kind of a cool homage back to that. um, And just kind of talking about the engineering and the process and everything. So, I mean, it's the first time Corvette's ever been mid-engine in... I mean, it's been made since 1953. So, I mean, it's been in a very, very, very long time. And... Yeah, it's the first time for mid-engine ever, so it's a huge, huge deal. So they took the front engine, v, like push rod V8, about as far as they could go. So very curious what to what they see next. All right, day day one purchase, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I get I a very, it's like if I get a very different job, then we'll talk. But for now, <laughs> not not quite. I'm you. gonna I'm need you. that YouTube windfall before that happens. There you go. There you go. So mm-hmm. anyway, all the personal stuff out of the way, but yeah, the world is uh, having some fun stuff going on. It is destiny time. So if you guys were like, what are they talking about this morning? Not normal, but between Comic Con, I couldn't not mention Top Gun. And for me, I couldn't mm-hmm. not mention the Corvette. So. Of course. And then we got Scream with Phil Guy. Perfect. <laughs> Phil Segway. Guy, like, we go mm-hmm. off on the, uh, yeah, Scream and I are over here. Cognito is just like, <sighs> you guys done oh, yeah, talking like, about whatever. like movies? This is, this- this is the last film with screaming. <laughs> right. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm going to let you rock. Because, I mean, listen, it's a big deal. These are, these are huge nostalgic pieces. You know what I'm saying? And, and they, they're bringing them back. And Comic-Con is always exciting. Though, regardless of what. Like, there's always cool announcements at Comic-Con. So I got to respect <laughs> your guys' love and see the Corvette love. I know. Shout out to King. He's a big Corvette fan. So I know he. Uh, yeah. I put him on to that with your tweet that you put out. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I saw him tag it this morning when I finally no got doubt. up. So, well, mm-hmm. what has been going on in the world of Destiny? How much have you guys been playing? What have you guys been feeling about it right now? I know, Scream, you've been getting your, you know, four hours or so at every Tuesday. Cognito, you've actually been hitting it a little harder. Uh, Ooh, what are you guys yeah, feeling about it right now? Just even the current stuff, like feeling it's good, feeling it's bad, missing anything. What do you guys, what are the current feels? Current feel. I'll jump off. Um... I'm I'm loving it, man. It's just like I said. Now that I've been like 
almost full time again. It's just um really, really enjoying it, man. So much to do. I think Scream had mentioned this, you know, mm. when he was talking. It's just like there's so many things you can do, you know, as far as light and activities, just knocking out a whole bunch of quests. I noticed what I'm find- I'm finding myself doing is multitasking bounties and quests so that I'm maximizing the most I can do at one time. And um, I know Scream, we're gonna get into it um, a little bit about, you know, besides maximizing the most you can do, maximizing efficient uh, strategies okay. to um, <laughs> or uh, glitches <laughs> that uh, can help your progress. Thought about working hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, and hey, you know, we got Scream on, you know, shout out to him, he's got some cool strategies of <laughs> how to do certain things and you know i've been paying attention you know saying stuff as far as that i know we're gonna get into that but um it's just been it's been an interesting time with the tribute hall and and menagerie and you know and obviously we'll, we'll get into shadow keep but i've been it's been full time for me playing a little bit of everything actually for the first time really playing it everything and then shout out to you e we got a, a bender <laughs> Shout out to you too. We got got my shattered throne done on PC. There you go. Oh man, that was so much fun. And uh just it's funny because when you play with Ebontis during his solo stuff, he's still in his solo mode. So it's funny. You have to like <laughs> put yourself in there, like he's still playing by himself. So he's not he's so used to handling everything by himself that he's like, Oh yeah, I got a little help here. Oh yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, it's he's different. not used to it. It's funny. Like, so I'm like, all right, this is cool. But literally, the man put me in his backpack and just, you know, I was just showing me the way. So Shattered Throne was done. I got one of my rare bounties, which I really wanted, which was um, a Black right. Armory bounty, which required it to have a full, well, not a full, but four pieces we found out, right? Yep. Four pieces of uh, Black Armory uh, gear. It could be a combination of weapons or armor. And then, um, you know, doing that and beat Shattered Throne. So I, I, when I saw Shattered Throne, because I was like, there's no way I'm doing Scourge of the Past Raid. No way I'm doing Last of the Witch Ray right now. I was like, it's got to be Shattered Throne. Got to call on the Nightfall and Shattered Throne soloist and get that done. And shout out to Bender for coming in and doing cool yoga poses and making me laugh during the strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in the end looking at Dolan Caro and explaining the fight. And then they just bust out laughing. I was like, guys. <laughs> Focus. Because it's like, it's like, you know what it is, Screen? Like, again, playing with, he doesn't understand. He, it's so natural from, he's like, a professor he's like he's teaching the course right so you oh, have yeah. in the back of the class with your man and your professor's talking but your man is doing funny stuff like that's children, what me and children. ben was doing yeah so he's doing emotes and i'm like yeah i got it yeah e. i was just watching that i'm like i gotta get that emote yo that emote is lit <laughs> the yoga joints uh, so shout out to y'all shout out to e for dealing with the children in the back of the class <laughs> messing up his perfect flawless runs <laughs> Yeah, I usually it. just duct tape myself to you, E, when we're doing any kind of... <laughs> <laughs> That's all good. Salute. Dude, but that was it for me. What's been up with you, Scream? What about you, Scream? What have you been doing? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, it's uh, you know always about working smart. But mm. uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love this. But I think the thing Efficient. that I've been... I enjoyed the most is there's just so much to do as like a solo mm. guy, you know, that's outside the realm of um, mm. this stuff that you have to... that you need necessarily buddies to do everything with although it's great to have a friend like ivantis to oh, yeah. when you need it <laughs> get, get it done Be like, boy, uh, it, guys, it gets done so fast <laughs> so fast so efficient bro when i saw that bounty i said oh I, I i held on to that bounty for like a week and a half i was like because it's a long window before you get it done you're like two weeks oh, yeah. bounty's bounty i'm waiting oh yeah continue to. uh <laughs> but uh yeah i mean i you love the me i mean it's, it's been i guess I mean, I loved the menagerie when that came out, and obviously that that glitch that was in the menagerie oh. for the chest was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Did we lose your screen? Too bad that's okay. kind of gone now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, looking for another one. I don't know if it'll be found. <laughs> but um, yeah, I loved. All, I mean, I just loved all of that. I loved being able to just kind of queue in and go. It's sort of like you know, I I, I liked the the forges mm-hmm. for that reason. Yes, um, but That's why I, like the forges. Yeah. I always thought the forges felt sort of limited, and I wanted to always be able to do kind of a mm-hmm. a raid thing with six people randomly, and I thought that was like one Fire. of the best things, yeah, that has come in in mm-hmm. probably forever. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as like the tribute hall goes, uh, it's I like the challenge. The thing that I honestly like 
it, it can be it's a frustrating thing in some ways mm -hmm. but like the thing that i love about it is like i kind of don't mind going and just having to run around a like a little area and farm again like mm -hmm. i don't necessarily mind. yes yeah some yes. serious like you know uh what was it in on the moon um mm -hmm. i can't remember that material we used to farm uh but oh, yeah that was Spin little? No, oh, it was little helium was, uh, filaments or something like that. Helium filaments, that was right. Ooh, yeah. Helium filament. Wow, they're back. actually bringing that section back too. Nice. Zone. There's gonna be something Good. there. Um, but Ooh. yeah, like I actually like kind of doing that. You know, like it wasn't. Um, it was just one of those things that Ooh. I'm sure a lot of people aren't as entertained by as me. But when you try to, when you mm -hmm. can come up with like efficient ways of doing that, yes, it, it feels very accomplished to me. I don't know I why. I want to jump in on that too because literally what you're saying is what I've been doing. I, I've been, it's been, it's like a playing like D1 style where it's forcing me to engage in different activities, right? For the tribute. Yes. See, like, see for me, I've been doing Forge. So I'm like, oh, he wants me to do Forge. I love doing Forge. So I go do Forge today. You know, you do that or you play this mode and not get killed and play this. And it, it just makes you do different things and, and different activities, but in a cool way. And I, I don't feel it's like unfair. I don't think they have you in there super long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll get into the, the, the bounty percentages. I don't know how I feel about that. But as far as the activities, yes. And length, I, I, I'm i with you, Scream. I'm with you on that. Big time. Yeah. So I've been, you know, I've been enjoying that. And um, mm -hmm. I mean, that's kind of really, I guess, what I've been spending most of my time doing is sort of was, I mean, the first couple of days that uh, Tribute Hall came out, I was just farming mm -hmm. as much as possible and uh, trying to you know see what the best way to actually you know manipulate as much currency as i could to get what i needed how, how, how you been getting that currency has that been more of an active or um <coughs> what do you say, passive uh, well, method i i did i did leave my computer on for like 24 <laughs> hours one time oh yeah so <laughs> just, for sure just, shout out to pyro <coughs> yeah pyro, yeah. pyro was I, when he came when he saw when i saw that i was like Oh my God. I'm um, like, I didn't, bro. cause I, I don't know. I realized it did it, but I didn't realize that you could just leave it there. Like mm -hmm. I never had left it there for that long. It's that was like perfect. the big thing. It is. Like, wow. Perfect. <laughs> it's so funny because it's like, you look at your friends list now. And yeah. You see nothing <laughs> that no, it's like, yeah, you check yeah, like yeah, um, everyone was doing. <laughs> you check Charlemagne on Discord, and you can see the populations. Yes. And like ten percent was forges like this week, and everybody's like, "What the? Oh, they're farming." Mm -hmm. <laughs> now let me ask y'all a quick question in reference to said forge. Have y'all been noticing that, like, at least at least on my end, before you could be passive, right, and do what you got to do? Mm. Now, the last I would say maybe two or three days. I've been getting this. You have to log back in. To I've been Destiny getting kicked kind of a little more frequently. Okay, yeah. so yeah. I'm thinking they may be trying to do something passively. Yeah, to, they're just like, yeah. oh, you're farming, eh, and then just like probably have some little bot go around and be like, when's the last time they touched the mouse? Okay, you're yeah. out. Yeah, yep, you're yep. out. <laughs> just like slowly walking around checking on people. Mm -hmm. I, I thought it was just me because I'm like the last two days. Yeah, I good. haven't gotten the full effects of my passive. I haven't it's woken up with another thousand dust light shards or yeah, something. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know got to get the full, full exactly. work Exactly. Got to get the full work in. And then the other thing is, yo, shout out to the spider. I think he's become one of the most uh, uh, fun characters to now see in Destiny with all your, you know, it's new... Like drum roll. What's he got? What's no. he got today, baby? <laughs> like, what's, what's going on? Like, I, him, it's like I'll... literally, yeah. Oh, for him, all I can picture is the Dave Chappelle like little meme where he's scratching. He goes, "You got any more of that? Uh, you know, dust light? You got any more of that shards and yeah. that glimmer over there?" Yeah, I was like, I'm in there, like, yo, bro. Whenever you' ready for these two materials right here, <laughs> you let me know what you got for these two right here. Cause I, I got a lot of these specific two materials right here. So it's it's fun, man. Shout out to the uh, data license. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right now, Spider's been my favorite guy for a while. Yeah, uh, I've Grizzly. He says Spider's a hustler. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That enhancement core is definitely hustle. Like, oh, one, two, three. Wait, what just happened? Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The days where he's selling, um, well, humor for the uh, planetary material oh. from Tangled Shore. That's a good day. That was a good day. 
that's a good day. You can make bro. a lot of glimmer real fast. Bro, bro. I hit the ATM hard. <laughs> you know how many withdrawals I had that day? Oh man, I was buying up everything. <laughs> Not to mention that like one like uh, that bounty glitch. Mm -hmm. they, they patched it now, but that was. Mm -hmm. I made I made quite a bit during that period. That was a good farm when, oh, they had, yeah. when you could just go in and like uh, mm -hmm. blast out the um, the boss before he entered the final zone, so it wouldn't mm -hmm. count. And then you just dump the quest yes. and leave. Yes. Oh my god! You hit the chest on the way out. Mm -hmm. It was like you'd have like just this mine of like uh, every time he was dropping like two. <laughs> Two legendary Ingrams, and you're like, "Oh, what is going mm -hmm. on here?" That was insane. I got an oh. exotic on the first one. It was oh, it's amazing. E, I gotta ask you a question. You know, we're talking, you know, um, taking advantage of things. <laughs> um, would you say, if you had to rank, let's do a little rank game. Would oh, okay. you say that what is currently happening with the Forges? Where would you rank that as far as all time? Destiny exploits. <laughs> uh, Where would you rank this rank? Give well, it is easy I... to. It's so ease of difficulty quite high because it's not that Ooh. difficult to do. Set it up. Um, but honestly, game breaking level not so bad. Mm -hmm. You're not getting True. high level gear. True. You're not True. pulling a plug True. on Crota and getting raid weapons. True. You're not True. farming like engrams in the loot cave. Even. True. Shout out to Par Five. So, you mentioned it's like cave. there's, yeah, you can go. You can take all your materials. You can go to the planet. You can get like packages, and you can get shards and mm -hmm. stuff that way. But overall, thanks for I would reminding say, me. Like, by the way, shout out to you to reminding me to actually go cash in on some of them vendors. I was forgetting to do that. Continue. Yeah, I was like, I mm -hmm. wouldn't say that. Yeah, it doesn't compare to the Luke Cave. Doesn't came to the Corota Pole, um, mm -hmm. like the Neil. Um, mm -hmm. Vault of Glass push off. I mean, you got raid oh, breaks. Oh, Vault of Glass yeah. push off. Vault of Glass push off was nuts. That so one was like, yeah, that in the world, great. yeah, it's actually really. I mean, as Dano, Dano said, it's like it's pretty harmless in the grand scheme. Mm -hmm. You're getting materials. Mm -hmm. You're easing up like two. Like there's two you can get. You can only get two. You can't get them all. Mm -hmm. right. So like you still got to get shards. You still got to get mm -hmm. bright dust. You still got to get the other mm -hmm. two planet turn materials. So I mean, if you mm -hmm. still want all the tributes legit, it's still mm -hmm. gonna take some work. But it is making things. Mm -hmm. Easier, probably going to set you up with more shards mm -hmm. when it comes to like the fall, which is a mm -hmm. big one. So it has benefits, but it's not nearly as bad. So, scream, where do you, you are the master of said exploits? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say, yeah, it's because if you really break it down, it's really just sort of one exploit for a specific activity, you know, right. like it's, you know, you're going to get materials, but you're only going to need that many materials really for like the tribute hall at this mm -hmm. moment, you know, right, right. And then, you know, if you want to, cash up on some later so you're not completely broke when the next expansion comes out right um yeah and uh to your point before i think they are now like checking if if you mm -hmm. don't move within every like i think five or so resets they'll they'll drop yeah out, i think i like definitely that. think there's been a passive fix right side on idle and activity Right, so you have yeah. to at least keep an eye on it. Just give you a thumb stick. <laughs> just a little flick every you know, once Let me in a watch while. a movie and just hit the inventory button every so often. I know. Right. <laughs> Can't get my full eight hours, man. Yeah, I gotta get that sleep on. Oh, you gotta get that. Uh, hey, you're on PC now. They make bots for that. That is correct. That is correct. I have to uh, investigate. But, but uh, <laughs> it's so bad when you go on the PC. It's like, what's everybody's bot? It's like, move to the left, move to the right, aim up, aim down, turn, fire once, turn left. Like. <laughs> So is that what those guys are doing? I see. <laughs> yeah, I was like, all of you on console have no idea like what it's like playing with people and bots when they're on your team. Oh, man, the frustration. <laughs> so annoying. No, no. But yeah, man, I, I just brought it up because I just like, for me, <laughs> I haven't had a good one in like, a while. Why is this guy turning left, turning right, and then shooting at the ground once? He yes. <laughs> yep, yep. And I haven't so had a good one in a while in... Um, this one, the timing of it was great. You know, I was dreading the, the damn tribute hall, and um, it's just been great. As a person, like as he knows, I use materials. I use cores. I use material. I am that guy. I am trying to maximize loadouts. I'm trying to have every subclass at optimal, you know what I'm saying, levels for every situation. That's That's me. That's just how I operate. So stuff, something like this is ranking very high for me. You know what I'm saying? And just the ease of use is like literally do nothing and walk away. Mm -hmm. Like, 
that you can't beat that on certain levels. But I agree with E in the sense that yes, the reward is not you know Luke Cave one level. It's not Atheon level type reward and stuff like that. So you know, but it's just fun. It's fun. Yeah. Something that's it's it's interesting in the grand pantheon of. <laughs> Destiny actually um, yeah. Like. Destiny has been broken in its in its own ways many times. This will definitely mm-hmm. go down as one of them. So absolutely. So for that's it. That's sure. all I got. Um mm-hmm. yeah. So I know we've all been uh, literally sleeping on the job over oh. here a little bit, definitely earning mm-hmm. some materials. Uh trying mm-hmm. to think what else we've got. So tribute hall, do you guys have your bad juju yet? Do you guys have the catalyst? Do you have you guys cheesed it? Did you get to do the cheese? <laughs> Missed out on the cheese. What about you, Scream? Um, I well, the banner, uh, yeah, the full catalyst cheese. I missed out. I did a video on it because I was like, oh man, <laughs> it was like the day after I started doing it, and, and that news came out. So I was like, oh come on. But mm-hmm. I had to, I had to at least let everybody else who hadn't started it know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I missed out on the the being able to just sort of plant the flag thing. I have i'm on the last step of the bad juju but i oh, you're just, on the mission. Uh, i'm on the mission i have been waiting to do it because i'm trying to again i'm gonna do it I, i'd rather not do it straightforward so <laughs> <laughs> so i'm, I'm trying to green. figure out the way you know wait to that moment where i do it and i can just get cover the most amount of cheese as possible mm-hmm. but uh <laughs> And there's a few, but I mean, it's all the whole mission. Mm-hmm. I love the exotic quests. The exotic quests are probably one of my favorite things to do, honestly, in the game. Mm, I, nice, nice. I don't know if I ever, I always realized that, but like even looking back, like just mm-hmm. doing the thorn quest in D1 was yeah. my favorite thing. It was definitely my favorite quest, not just because I got the thorn, but mm-hmm. like I really like doing uh, the luminous mm-hmm. uh, quest. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying. The time I do get to play is, mm-hmm. I mean, it, and like you said, there is just so much to do. Like, I try yeah. to kind of plan out exactly what I want to do before I even get into the game. Because if I get into the game without that, I'm just going to, like, walk around the tower and pick up bounties and, like, go, I, I, all right, now I just got to look at them in my giant pursuits tab. <laughs> <laughs> my mosaic of my pursuits tab. Oh, and, don't get me started yeah. on that. How are you guys oh, feeling about me. that pursuits tab? Oh, burn it to the ground. Oh. I, I, I could do without it. It's the worst. It is the that double press. It's the double press. I figured it out. E. I hate that I have to go two clicks to this stupid menu. And then it's just it's just unorganized. Oh, I hate it. I hate it, man. It, it's so confusing sometimes when I want to just focus there. And then the fact that I can't completely eliminate it because I was like, OK, well, maybe if you just track what you want to do. But you only like limited to like three and a few, you know, you triumphs. Track. Yeah, you get like three and you can track one triumph. One triumph. And it's just yeah. like as a person and I got to shout out my boy Kaibatsu because I used to give him crap for stuff like this. when He used to talk about like Destiny's like uh, UI and system and stuff like that needs work. This is the first time normally like I'm a very easy going guy. Right. Because generally I haven't had that many issues. But with the fact there's so many pursuits, there's so many exotic quests, there's so many steps, then there's steps that when you complete it, even if you're tracked it, the tracking gets removed yeah. and then it goes to another step. So you're like, oh, what am I doing next? So it, it, it comes down to me where it's like efficient farming, efficient play sessions, right? And the worst thing is I have to start up Destiny and literally remind myself every hour to, okay, what am I supposed to be doing next? Uh, you know, it's just it's just like I said, you just want to be efficient and I'm hoping with Shadow Keep that gets fixed. I, I cannot stand the pursuits tab right now. It is probably the worst it's, it's ever been for me. Yeah, that one's weird because I've seen people it was like you knew it was bad when people in probably less than twenty four hours, I think. I saw like drafts mm. up on Twitter and Reddit mm. and things like that for like I mean UI graphics people and stuff like that putting stuff up and I don't and this is where it comes to again. The mm-hmm. systems the game is built on. Right, right. When it comes to talking to, you know, mm-hmm. get, got a chance at Guardian Con asking people about mm-hmm. like vault space and stuff like that. And it's like, mm-hmm. well, it's like one of the reasons they can't really say, but it's like there's certain things. Well, it's like, so I went and had my brother and he and I looked at him and it's like, they load all 500 pieces of that vault every time you open yeah. it. Yeah. 
So it's like that. there's a re- it's like the and you think about consoles what they can do like what oh, yeah. what file yeah, size that is and stuff like that mm-hmm. and they always have to develop for the lowest common denominator. So yeah, I mean on PC it's like yeah we may only have five hundred we could probably have five thousand who knows but mm-hmm. that would absolutely just like brick a console. So I mean there's a point to where like. There are certain things, and this has got to be something similar. When you look at the Pursuits tab, they wanted to add more. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if, like, them moving it to a separate space on the director or on your social tabs, like, gives them an option to have more memory space because you don't load the entire inventory when you put it in there. But now, like, the Mm -hmm. the spatial setup of it is just weird. Like, and but it was the fact that people fixed it in, like, 24 hours. I was like, that looks good. That looks good. That looks good. (laughs) Any of those look good, like, compared to what we got. So I don't know. Like, I... I do think it needs reviewed, but mm-hmm. as we'll get to a couple other things, I don't see it in the fall, unfortunately, because they just got done oh, doing it. Oh, bro, please, please, please don't say that. But uh, I mean, I guess if I, if, if, if I got to sacrifice something for cross save and a good yeah. raid and great campaigns and some strikes and some can't, vendor can't, refreshes can't have it all, and Alma right? 2.0, it all. I guess I could wait another expansion for this damn annoying pursuit that what you what you think man what do you think scream yeah i mean it's just it's it's very um counterintuitive to why i want my pursuits tab as far as the way it is now but again it's like i can understand if we need to do something to sort of in i mean let it seemed like it was there to kind of level the playing field a little bit between people who had PC and consoles as far as like mm-hmm. how like the load time of that, yes. you mm-hmm. know, like mm-hmm. I, I was that exactly. Did they give that as a reason why they instituted haven't, it that honestly, way? Honestly, no. I haven't heard anything yeah. specific. Yeah. yeah. Get a chance to dive deep with them at Guardian Con. I was like, it's all speculation. They're not going to give away trade yeah, secrets. Yeah, so I, that's, <laughs> that might be speculation, but it seems mm-hmm. like that was what it was for. Um, mm-hmm. And I can understand that because there's yeah. a significant amount of people who are playing on console. On oh, console, I, exactly. That's the majority. Right. And, mm-hmm. um, and also, like, if you're going for, like, a world's first, you know, like, mm-hmm. I mean, it's – people on PC will always have an advantage because yeah. they, they just have, like – such a shorter load time when it comes to like anything Mm -hmm. so i don't know if that'll if that helped a little bit in that i mean that did come out right before the last uh i'm trying to remember exactly when the pursuit set was instituted that way was it right Mm -hmm. before the last raid was released Mm -hmm. Uh, it was before a raid release so Mm -hmm. um you know i i i can deal with it because we Mm -hmm. did get so much good stuff but um i wish there was kind of a way Mm -hmm. Like, I kind of wish they just organized it a little bit better, like, automatic, yes. you know, like, yes. I, like your new things come in, like, yes. left to right, like you're reading a book, you know, like, oh. even that would make it so much easier. Preach, so, preach, brother, preach. So even if they just did, like, a little change like that in the interim, you know, mm-hmm. I might even just be fine with that, period. I don't know mm-hmm. what they're going to do, but. Mm-hmm. No, I'm with you, Scream. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to, like. I've seen some where they have like all the bounties in a corner. They have like one strip for specific stuff. Mm-hmm. And the, on the right, they had bigger icons. And maybe you could even pick like, you know, mm-hmm. drag one over there and be like, I'm working on the Lumina quest. It always lives right. in this big giant icon. So I know where to go for it. Don't have to like some customization to it would be nice for our end because mm-hmm. yeah, you can sort, but it feels like mm-hmm. if I sort, I just break it more sometimes like newest, yeah. oldest, oh. most yeah. like the rarity. And I'm like, I, I, what, hold on. What did I just do? Like every yeah. time I hit a button, I feel like it's just worst. And for the love of God, can we please put the pinnacle weapon steps out of the triumphs and into the bounty so I can see the progress and not the, the search for the, the specific quotation name of what the, the step I'm doing. <laughs> like, so you know, like, pre- I think... find out, come, the bottom would be like, finish the Pursuit of Honor quest. And you'd be like, well, what is that? Where yeah. is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, like what? And then you're, you're fumbling through the, 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 the triumph, like, where is, and you can't, you can only highlight one of those. And it's just like, that. remember when me was playing E? And you will uh, we do a shot at throne, and I'm like, oh, what gun is that? That sounds crazy. And you're like, yo, that's 21 Delirium, right? And I'm like, yo, that's crazy because I play a lot of Gambit, but because I can't efficiently track all my steps, my acquisition of Delirium is suffering because I'm not paying attention, not being able to pay attention to where I am with the invoice and the infamy reset. And it, I literally had to just start doing that now because you reminded me because you had Delirium when we were playing together. 
Sorry, I was reading chat and say that again. No, it's okay. <laughs> the last part, not the whole thing, the last part about delirium. No, just delirium. Just how we were playing together and how, you know, the whole fact of the matter is that I was like, yo, that was so cool. And then you were like, yeah, you play a lot of games. But I'm like, yeah, but I don't, I don't know what the quest name is and where I am with the steps. Yeah. Like just after we played Shadow Throne, I looked and I finally got a chance to see where I'm at with it. But because it was through so many sub menus and deep diving and ugh, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, they need to wait, need to find a way. And I think most of that, and then part five, I'll get to your question in a second. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, part five's got a good question. I see why you got distracted. What <laughs> they've got, um, what they're trying to do there is they were trying to take them away from character specific like they had with Luna's Hal and take them mm -hmm. to account specific with the triumphs because there's, those are tracked account wide. So you can have a bounty, right. the triumphs tracked account wide. The annoying thing about that is. Somehow they figured out that out with the new bounties for, mm -hmm. like, say, Revoker and Hush. If you pick mm -hmm. up the bounty, it tracks across, so those are there. But, yeah, mm -hmm. the old ones are still annoying. So, like, that's, Ugh. like, a learning process that they're going through. Hey, let's have a bounty. Okay, this should be account-wide. Okay, let's do this account-wide. Let the triumphs, we know those work account-wide. Okay. Okay, now we got the bounties, but you have to pick them up on every character. It's like, mm -hmm. have a way when you, when I log in on my account somewhere mm -hmm. and be like, account wide bounty like something should just be like permanently stuck somewhere and mm -hmm. I, again i don't know how their systems are built so that's yeah, like no, yeah, that, be that's a, no but yeah. that's that's definitely an ask to be like hey if there's an account wide bounty that gets mm -hmm. its own home like certain things Absolutely. like those uh the mm -hmm. triumph related ones don't have it that like and again as also uh dano said give me numbers mm -hmm. i don't care if you want me to get fifteen thousand points be like, hey, every kill is five. Winning a match is 100. Like, if you got to get 15,000, at least you can do the math. I was like, get 100% on this bounty. I'm like, what does that mean? Now you can actually go to, like, what the hell? Now you can go to things like Destiny Item Manager, go to Progress, mm -hmm. and then you can look. And hardcore players know about DIM. And honestly, if you sit on a computer, you better be using DIM or you're playing the game wrong. But mm -hmm. it's still like, why do I have to click on that? I shouldn't have to. That should, should not be much. that the numbers in the game. And I'm hoping maybe from the little armor 2.0 discussion we get into mm -hmm. look like they might be more in the game in the fall. But again, mm -hmm. they, they destiny still has been like more. They've always said they wanted everything to feel good, but they don't mm -hmm. want you to get, you know, too deep in the numbers. Well, mm -hmm. I'm hoping the word MMO RPG and all that stuff starts changing those things. So yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a hope. Mm -hmm. We getting the par five question. Yep. So question. Thank you, par five, for jumping in as well. Uh, mm -hmm. He said, "I have a friend. Uh, I play with on PS4 every weekend. You and a lot of people, I'm sure. A lot of people are on PS4. Uh, mm -hmm. A lot of people are on Xbox. They're on both, but they're on console. Mm -hmm. Really thinking about getting Shadowkeep on B PC because of the better performance and graphics. Should I buy a copy Ooh. for both PC and PS4 so that I can keep playing with my friend, but Ooh. enjoy the solo benefits of PC? Now, my answer." Is if you have the money, yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> emphatic yes. If you can play on PC, you have a rig that runs it, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Main reason, mm -hmm. um, for one, controller is easy to use. So you can just literally plug it in and you're good to go. Cognito showing off his Xbox Elite. So humble brag there. <laughs> <laughs> thank you vanna i appreciate it <laughs> uh, but it. the other piece is honestly like um you're gonna have a steam friends list which is gonna be huge you've got actually that whole world that they're dealing with new light players are gonna be coming probably quickest from steam so you're gonna have a bigger population to play with as well if you're doing as again if you're playing solo be like i need to go run strikes or i need to go run pvp you want to go play pvp against like 10 million blueberries welcome it's mm -hmm. going to be a lot of them. So I would, if you have, if you have the funds, yes. If you are limited on your funds and all your friends are on one place like PS4, start there. But if you have the funds and you have the computer, do it hundred mm -hmm. percent. Absolutely, man. Scream. Do you concur? Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> hard hard question. Yeah. Yes. Hard question. Um, you, I think it's just, the game is just much more enjoyable. You can mm -hmm. actually, you know, I, I, I always found, having been an Xbox One player before I went to PC, that true. Uh, and playing, I mean, playing all of D1 on on Xbox, obviously, because it wasn't oh, on man. PS2. But then switching mm -hmm. over in D2, like I played the first three months, I think, of D2 on mm -hmm. Xbox One. 
Oh, wow. And even then, uh, the load times on Xbox oh, One were just so yeah. much longer that you would yeah. get really kind of like, mm -hmm. like it'd be one of those things where it's like, okay, I'm loading into a place. All right, this is going to take like three or four minutes. So I'll put mm -hmm. my controller down. I'm going to go. Do yes, something. go do something. I'll watch something. Can't and then do I'll that come on back PC. And I'm like, yeah, but then I, but the thing is, like, I come and do so, go do something, and then I get distracted, and I'd be yep. like, ah, all right, I'm gonna put the game away, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't like really get engrossed like I do, you know. Yes. I, so that alone, mm -hmm. not to mention the fact that because yeah, you're gonna get all those people coming in from Steam. Mm, um, huge, huge. The yeah, I think it, I honestly think that the uh, player base is gonna completely tip oh shot in the arm, shot in the arm, big time, and then. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, you'll just be getting games that much faster with uh, mm -hmm. that many more people. Mm -hmm. It's only going to increase the experience even more. Mm -hmm. So, Agreed. yes. Yes. But I understand wanting to play with friends. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You know, like I can understand that. Is That's a good reason enough to stay for something, I think, to mm -hmm. an, an extent. But yeah. But if you got the option, baby, go back and forth. You got the option, forth. yeah. Definitely. Go back and forth, man. You got yeah. the option. Cross save is a cross thing. Save. Yes, that's, that's why. I mean, that's why that it's a thing. a thing. And that's mm -hmm. a lot of people who've been playing. I mean, you've got like creators like you know some of them live you got you know cool guy was on here he's an xbox mm -hmm. guy fallout we know is on ps4 it's like there's a lot mm -hmm. of it on consoles because like when the time to switch over to pc didn't happen and then they're two years into the destiny 2 character and you're like there's no way mm -hmm. in hell i'm redoing this grind mm -hmm. you you made the switch later and it's still been you know struggle on some things yeah yeah it's so, like I, I see people go through it yeah continue so I was just going to say, so you can just literally click a button, your save is everywhere, and you're like, yeah, now it's time. Bro, don't get no better than that, man. So criminally underrated how that feature is going to bring the communities, the player bases all together. I think Destiny is going to, I think that single feature alone is huge in September. And honestly, I think I said this to you, E, I know we had the whole little Borderlands discussion thing. I think that feature alone is enough to hold off Borderlands without even but even like, getting but into the content. Has, I think well, so, like yeah. Borderlands has crossplay, doesn't it? Mm -mm. No. Oh no 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 I don't no! Believe no. So. no 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 no! Destiny's the first big one to really have this cross save thing going on, and um, I mean because there's other games that have had you know cross save uh, besides you know, Fortnite and stuff like that, which is, which is big. But in terms of like the, you know, looter shooter space, Destiny's first, man. This is, man, this is huge. This well, is really quick huge. pull up just because I had to Google it. All right, let's uh, move first. Shout out to GameIndustry.biz just because it's the mm -hmm. article I clicked on. Uh, mm -hmm. Gearbox, Gearbox commits to cross-play for Borderlands 3. This feature mm -hmm. will not be available immediately, yeah, but they said they promise to Same thing Division said. Yeah, we, we want to do it. We want to do it. <laughs> I just wanted I to confirm because I was like, I thought I'd heard talk about it, and I just honestly wasn't sure. So It's, I, it's I was just definitely clarifying. the cool thing. The only one that surprised me out the box Dauntless that was, it. was Call of Duty. Call of Duty said they were doing no, it this that's, year. That's the one. Okay. That's big for Call of Duty. You Call know of Duty is that's big, yeah. Yeah, that's big. I think Call of Duty needs something big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they had yeah. to. They, I mean, the series been on a decline slightly, and you know, I, I get it. I mean, and that's a huge community as well. So that's a game that's going to benefit. But Destiny, there's no doubt. There's so many people. Even my, you know, my podcast mates, all the other lords, they like Yo, PC. They like, they like, they're not giving up their character and their grind to start fresh. Yep. They refuse. They, and I, I, how could I argue with them, right? You, we've all done whisper and escalation protocols and raid armors and who wants to you know like because of my love for e <laughs> i gave it all up i gave it up. <laughs> you had the opportunity for the pc and it was free so timing worked uh, out i gave yours. it all up I, I, I left my friend <laughs> yeah you left all your friends don't all talk to them anymore they, they, you've disowned them you're out of the circle of trust mean, I broke the friendship code, man. I did all for E last web podcast. <laughs> we, it was like of all things you did it for, at least you do, you're playing with the guy you do a podcast with the game for. So that is true. <laughs> that is true. And I get some free raids and shattered thrones out of this, so that's that's good. <laughs> there, there is some backpack space occasionally if you catch me. Awake. Exactly. I got to cash in those chips. I throw the guilt trip on. Get some free stuff out of it. <laughs> oh man! Shout out to E. Now I willingly came. But once that that deal. They basically did the free to play on PC first with me in a sense with Battle.net. Yep. So 
it was a no-brainer. It was just it, the beginning is rough though. We're having nothing. Oh man, like a kindergarten out there with the blue. Ooh, ooh, it was it was not good, man. It's not yeah. Good. But it was actually good for you to kind of have perspective when it comes to materials and the grind and stuff like that, because you were a little fresh into starting over. So mm-hmm. you're like, hey, what's your currency situation like? Mm-hmm. Some save them better than others. But on like, say even for me though, I wouldn't be in the same place I am with like my materials if I was starting when you did. So like yeah. people who come in fresh are going to have a completely different thing, like an, a feel mm-hmm. for what's the enhancement core economy. Like what are my planetary yeah. materials? Why do I have to go grind these? What are these planetary bounties? Like what is happening? So there's different mm-hmm. things you've got to picture. Cause like we're all hardcore. If you're probably yeah. listening to this, if the three of us are on here, most of our guests mm-hmm. we're hardcore Disney players. We mm-hmm. have a lot of everything done multiple times over. We're not like, Oh, I'll pick it up for a couple hours on the weekend, maybe do a strike, maybe, you know, try and match make into here. Don't try any of the big stuff, much less like, oh, wait, there are mm-hmm. bounties at the gunsmith. Like, if you're not, like, watching, um, you know, watching the Vidocs, if you're not catching the Bungie.net, like, blog articles, you may not have a clue half the stuff that's in here. So, mm-hmm. but hopefully. No facts. I was like, for the for some average people, just like, oh, I get on, boot it up. Oh, yeah, there's strikes over here, some Crucible, oh, Gambit's here, cool. Like, oh, this is the new thing for me to, new campaign thing for me to work on with the Forges. But, yeah, there's a lot. So, crossplay heals friendships. Oh, my God. <laughs> it does, man. Look, you know how happy people are? Like, you know, play with you, you get to play with me again. But, of oh. course, I got to be arrogant. Scream, when I, when I come down to Xbox, I got to be like, hold on. It is Lord Cognito that has ascended down <laughs> from the Master Race. To, to, to deal with my loyal subjects here in the lowly console. Yeah. Let me go back to your 85% view ratio. Exactly. <laughs> Field of view, man. Oh, that is like an unspoken view. love for people. It is. Oh, but you I'm going to talk until so, you have it. Yeah, I'm going to talk so much. Oh, the molasses of this 30 frames. Get, what, okay. Uh, <laughs> what is, what is I guess I'll help you. <laughs> What is the screen shake I feel? I don't. <laughs> I got a tease. Oh, man. What else we got, East? What's going on with these uh, twives? And what's going so, on in these Destiny streets, man? <laughs> so obviously we've been playing, having some fun. We are close to Shadowkeep. And we've actually got a few articles thanks to Polygon. A couple interviews with uh, the gentlemen. They kind of are breaking the interview segments up and dropping some knowledge from those. Two of the big ones we've got so far. One of them. Something we're all looking forward to, Mortal Kombat style. We got finishing mm. moves. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to give you guys a brief rundown. And then I want to get your guys' thoughts about how they actually kind of work, basically, for mm-hmm. finishing moves. Um, basically, they say it's going to be a mod for your uh, for an armor slot. Mm. And they're going to think of it as combat emotes. So mm. I don't know if you'll get... You'll probably get one, a functional one, to start off with. And then they're almost going to be something to where you can get... Um, Probably potentially more from Eververse. So it's going to throw a little flash and flare. I'm sure they will give you one for the function of, like, you know, doing what needs to actually happen. But the Mm. other cool thing about finishing moves, which we didn't know until this article actually came out, was kind of the benefits to them. So the benefits of a finishing move, it's kind of a risk-reward situation. So say I equip one that's going to turn the enemy into a loot pin, or not a loot, but say an ammo pinata when I finish them. So drop a bunch of ammo on the ground, but it's the risk of getting up there and actually getting in close range. And mm. there's going to be different finishing moves that actually are going to be able to do different things for you. So mm-hmm. nice. they're going to work kind of cool. cosmetically. Some may be coming from Eververse. Like they're actually going to be rare. Some may mm-hmm. be purchasable, things like that. But I'm sure the function hopefully will be in game. Um, right. But just the fact that they do have function, maybe ammo pinata or who else, maybe it's like nail it, everybody gets like an overshield on your team or maybe a damage mm-hmm. buff or something. Like, how do you guys think that's going to go? Any like wants for abilities or anything like that? Um, scream, uh, what do you what do you think? Uh, I hope there's a dragon tail kick. Uh, <laughs> 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 That's the best one already. Whoosh. Uh, I want a dragon tail to a fan kick, and then oh, well, the guy Lord. and then does a law pose. Um, <laughs> That's amazing already. I don't think anybody uh, can top that. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think that the system that they're doing it is, I think it's the best way to do it. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some interesting exploits that are going to come in early on with this thing. I, mean, I just know what's going to happen. He's always like, all right, so the finishing move, what you can do is you can punch the boss into wall. He gets stuck there. Now you can right. shoot his toe for an hour and he won't do damage to you. And like, if you drop a raid banner at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you got infinite ammo and savage. supers. If you hit the right. super glitch ammo bubble bug, like, oh my God. All right, you Scream in rare form. 
So yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I when I when I first saw it, I was like, "What is this? Like, is mm -hmm. this just like an? Is this just like you like, like uh, you know, dropping some flair on them after you kill them? You know, like, you know, like like salt." <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I don't think it's quite like Mortal Kombat where you're sitting there in kind of that drunken stupor, yeah, like, drunken finish him, thing. and it's going to be know. like, and then you go up and actually uppercut him. Mm. Right. Like, Even I was though I would love to do that to Kurta. That would feel yes. good. So I was wondering if it was like you have to beat a boss to a point and then like at some point somebody has the option to go up and do that. Or if it was actually like a risk versus reward kind of situation that has like mm -hmm. a bonus. So I'm glad it is um, mm -hmm. because it obviously makes room for a lot more, uh, mm -hmm. a little bit more manipulation of it. But <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, but to it, clarify, like I didn't it's say it's very cool, uh, but they did say like when enemies go below a certain health threshold, they're going to have an indicator that means they can be finished. So they have right. to be. Yeah. You're gonna be able to know, yeah, right? That's dope. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I I think it's gonna be uh, I, I think it's an interesting thing. It wasn't like a it wasn't ever something I thought would come to Destiny. Facts. I was like yeah. finishing moves. Huh. I was floored. All right, all right. All right. Mm -hmm. I, you know, like I see you, Bungie. I see. Mm -hmm. you. But uh, yeah, so one of their more uh, creative uh, yeah. forays into I I don't know where. I think Ed Boone made a studio visit and was like, hey, how's Bungie going? Cool. You should put finishing moves in there. It worked for us. You should do it, too. It is. Ed Boone. Responsible. Um, and then, yeah, it's like what it's going to take to actually use the finishing move is super energy, even though they say how much is still in flux. So, mm -hmm. Cogn Cognito, what about you? What are you thinking about him? It's, it's just it's why you love Bungie, man. I mean, it's like you said, like, thanks and stuff like that. Like, that's the last thing I would think would come to Destiny, but I could already visualize the implementation. And like, yo, it's gonna be mad. Ooh. Um, shout out to Lord Addict, because like he's that guy, right? He's the guy that when you're fighting the boss, he wants to get the last hit. And he's like, Yeah, like, you know, my Titan was the reason. Like, so <laughs> for him to have this ability for an indicator to put this fish. Now, the question is gonna be for me. Is it limited to red and yellow bars? You know what I'm saying? Orange bars, right? Mm -hmm. All them yellow bars, all them boss bosses, are we going to be able to hit up Callus? <laughs> like, I don't know about that, right? You know, so I, I guess I'm curious as to who the enemies are, that applies to. But even if it's just everyone minus, you know, those mega, mega bosses, still a cool feature. You know, it's going to add a lot of visual flair to it. You know, you know Bungie's going to get crazy. And again, they've already mentioned Eververse. And one thing I don't mind, and I think E, I've had this discussion with you, is when it comes to fix your face. Oh my. And I was like, you call me out. I'm like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Big, this, is, this is good. Um, is that <laughs> is that when I had this discussion with you in reference to implementation of Eververse, like people don't realize Destiny is the type of game we will spend that money for cool emotes. We will spend that money without question. I had you know to buy saying? the Michael Jackson one. That just literally, I, like, my, I that literally was thinking of Michael Jackson in my head. Like, literally, was just about I to say. To that's, that's what me and you are the same type of time. And it's just like, now think about all the fun karate movies, pop culture. You're going to, like, like Scream said, the people are going to be doing dragon kicks. And you know what I'm saying? Like, they could really take this somewhere. Right, and I, like if I'm laughing at Bender doing yoke, could you imagine Bruce Lee one inch punching a boss and <laughs> like, oh my god, just I, poof, then the boss flies. Like <laughs> you're gonna have so much. It better be there. Oh, you know the one inch punch. <laughs> I'm asking for it. So one inch punch. Because, that is yeah, oh, that's gonna happen bro, now. it's gonna be so lit. And Actually, I, I want I this wait. finishing move. Not, yo. I want the snap. Think about, <laughs> and they just turn into dust. Yeah, the dust. Yeah, exactly. Uh -oh. yo, think about you doing one of your excruciatingly difficult. Shout out to E. He's got a great video out. Right? Please, if y'all ain't watched this video, the stages of a um solo player. Of grief. Yeah. Oh, the grief. Oh, hilarious. Like, imagine going through all that, <laughs> and you finally get it done, and that that indicator pops up on that boss after all those unsuccessful runs, and. He gets to do what he wants to do to that what well, the boss that was tormenting him. Oh, I already know it's gonna be legendary. It's a great feature. That'd be right? a nice way to finish like a video and be like, yeah, it's like whatever boss you're working on, get him low and just run up and be like, I'll take you and just like run through and just send him <laughs> off. That'd be amazing. 
That would be a really cool. One. That'd be like some good highlight. I see some highlight reel type YouTube clips or a montage mm-hmm. of finishing moves or something like mm-hmm. that definitely happening. So yeah. oh, hopefully we're allowed to have some fun with those. This could this could be another cash cash cow, another revenue stream. I'm telling y'all, man, this is gonna be another one. This is ingenious what they're doing. And so far, Solo Bungie's been on, on fire right now with these thought processes. So we shall see. Yeah, I mean, we've got ornaments coming out of Eververse. You've got these types of things. Potential. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, I'll spend money on that. A little bit here and there. But it's like, we all know it's going to Bungie. Like, it's 100% mm-hmm. theirs now. Like, that's Facts. a little better. Facts. Man, I no, like, they're going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to, I don't know, you guys said some awesome ones already. The snap would be cool, but it, it's not going to, It does. but the one-inch <laughs> punch, that's really cool. Yes. A yes. dragon tail whip, if it could be an Ahamkara tail, you could swing Ooh. it that way. Um... But yeah, mm-hmm. just a big uppercut just seems like... Because he had the uppercut, he had like a big... I know the cross... Uh, I think it was Dave Samuels in the video he was talking about him. He like he winds up, looks at his fist, and then punches. And mm-hmm. then I forget what the... Oh, the hunter does like the kind of horizontal spin for like mm-hmm. a double knife knife attack. So mm-hmm. there's some pretty cool ones that I remember. And that's just the ones they're starting with. So they can yeah. keep adding those. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I'm with you guys. I never expected to see it. So in the Vidoc, I was like... Finishing moves. Holy Finishing thing. moves. It's that thing you didn't know you needed. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely is, yeah. Like, oh yeah, this is dope. <laughs> It'd be funny if they had a snap one where as soon as you do it, like if you're in a party, like two of your friends, the two members <laughs> <you disappear. laughs> That'd be too funny. You're like, you're in the raid and you're like, oh, man. and they like the fade away culture. until they walk again. That'd be really cool. Right, yeah. The pop culture references, if they want to take it there and legally, you know, they can like, they they some things. I was like, they got to, they got to probably ask on the snap. That's a little specific. Yeah, that's very, yeah. Uh, because I do remember things coming out about like Fortnite dances, and it was the. Mm-hmm. But the those the... game studios have won. Shout out to uh, Hogue Law. I had them on a little podcast. I had this exact topic, and I was like, Hogue, man, do these content creators, do the originators of the, um, you know, these moves, do they have it? Now, the thing is, where you may be right, E, is that dance moves, from my understanding, is much harder to fight. Yeah. Now, these are like maybe iconic finishing moves or poses. I don't know. You know, I, I, I have to revisit this with Hulk. I have to get him on just to, to question like, yeah. where this could go. And he's a big like, I mean, fan. That's definitely well. something they don't need to like piss off somebody mm-hmm. for a lawsuit. So they'll they'll yeah, probably absolutely. play it play it easy unless they can work. In the beginning, yeah, kind of deal, absolutely. So. absolutely. Should talk to whoever does the marketing for Tekken. <laughs> oh, I love me some Tekken screen. That's my but, joint. Because they have all the finishing moves of like so mm-hmm. many classic like. Uh, you know, martial artists. I mean, there's something from everybody in there. What? So I wonder what they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Tekken's been getting away with it. Right. Tekken's been getting away with it forever. Like, they literally have Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan in their game, so to speak, right? So, yeah, that's a good point. They may be able to get away with a lot of this stuff. Mm-hmm. So, finishing moves will be awesome. Mm-hmm. But probably my biggest thing, and I still don't have that much clarification on it, is mm-hmm. Armor 2.0. Oh, here we go. So yeah, I'm going to open this up to you guys first. Uh, I'm going to give a little intro of just kind of what we got from the Polygon article. Um, basically, they did confirm it's going to have an energy system. So you power up the armor to increase its capacity, which lets you equip more mods. Uh, the stats we know are coming back. They said mobility or... Hold on. No, intellect, discipline, and strength. Those are all returning. Return. Mm-hmm. And they also said mobility, resilience, and recovery are going to have a bigger... They're going to widen the range of those three. Mm-hmm. So the range of, I guess, the abilities. So hopefully it actually does a little bit more, uh, but mm-hmm. they don't know quite what that means. And they also said you're going to be able to do things like stack. And this is where I'll kind of let you guys dive deep while I take a little mm-hmm. breather for a sec. Um, mm-hmm. So say you are you like hand cannon reloading. Well, mm-hmm. you can put two hand cannon reload things on there and actually double stack towards that. But say, because when we looked at the picture before, because I broke down the one frame in the damn Vidoc, you had like recovery and it had like, it was worth five energy. And then it looked like you had recovery and it was worth three energy. So Mm -hmm. I'm kind of wondering one, so these are the questions I want to ask you guys, or Mm -hmm. I guess here's three parts. (laughs) One Mm -hmm. thoughts about this whole system thoughts on it. Any more of the little tidbits that we got Two, do you think these, like if you double stack, is it just going to be the same as what we have now? Like is the weight of the new stuff going to have, are you going to have to really go specific for a build, or do you think you're actually going to be better than we are now? And then three, um, 
how do you guys think we're going to get the mods, especially things like enhanced sniper rifle targeting that currently is only on like Dreaming City or Raid Armor? Where do you think the enhanced ones may come from? Stuff like that. So Scream, Cognito, whoever wants to go first, kick it off. Scream, hit it, babe. What you got? Um, I'm personally into this. I mean, this was one of those things that uh, I was always kind of like a 13 tier kind of like questy guy in D1. Like that was Absolutely. definitely one of the things I spent a lot of time trying to Ooh. cultivate on my character. So uh, I'm into any system that promotes more of that. Yes. I like the breakdown of it. Um, and it was one of the, it, I mean, it, honestly, it was something that I thought didn't need to go when they turned in when d2 came out and i've, I've mm -hmm. missed it since then and now that seems like they're even going a, i don't know if it's necessarily going to be i feel like it's probably going to be as involved as the system as in d1 mm -hmm. which i think it was almost by accident but it became yeah. very you know like a good way to spend your time once you mm -hmm. hit that like whatever the power cap was at, at, at mm -hmm. any given expansion mm -hmm. um and uh so I think the way that they're sort of bringing in um, more ability, or it's like they're bringing. Which ones are they bringing back? Are they bringing well, back like they're bringing stamina? back the original ones? They're bringing back um, discipline. Discipline. Okay, that was the name. Right. So those three: intellect, discipline, and strength. And the um, remember the current ones are still going to exist. So right, right. mobility, resilience, recovery, still there. So they're adding the D right. So I think like the add of those three is probably going to you know like amount to how involved it was in d1 which is i don't mm -hmm. know if it'll be more than that hopefully mm -hmm. it is um i think you are going to be mainly like going for a specific build i i mean i i don't know if that'll necessarily be mm -hmm. like you know how sometimes it's like they re they retract from what is there to allow mm -hmm. you to build more specifically in the talent right. tree i don't right, know if it's right. gonna, rather than just building on top of how mm -hmm. good you are currently so like because i think if you were able to spe like build specifically from like where it is now as like a base you might be like pretty godly if you really right. went for it you know right and, and they did say they are worried they are still tuning the right the article as far as power levels and stuff like that so i think they're gonna have to sort of tune it down slightly to mm -hmm. uh, account for that um as far as like where the mods will come from i yeah. mean i hope they come from just like i hope it's simple but I mm -hmm. hope it's, you know, like nightfall bosses or, mm -hmm. or or completion of like not the highest level activities, but mm -hmm. you know some sort of mid level activity, mm -hmm. maybe something that requires a group of three. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I'm trying to think, maybe like, um, you know, I mean, even like the forges, you know, maybe like, well, maybe not a forge, but like I, maybe an, an occasion drop from like a forge boss, you know, something mm -hmm. like that. Um, I think would be good. Or maybe if you have so many different um, of this thing, you can turn it in for one. Maybe if you have so many different mods, you can turn them in for one. I don't know if they've mm -hmm. really broken down where they hope those come from, but mm -hmm. that would be what I would hope yeah. for personally. Yeah, I'm with you, man. I mean, um, this is good stuff. This is good stuff, and. Uh... Shout out to uh, my article that I put out on LordsGaming.net this morning. Uh, I actually was talking about this specifically. And um, basically, you know, to me, when I hear this stuff, I think of them getting back to RPG sensibilities, right? Getting back to that MMO path that we all want Destiny to be. And I think this is the start, right? We're getting transmog, we're getting this other stuff. Um, That's a big one. That's a huge one, huge one, man. So we got to give it up, you know, when possible. I know E will upset in the article that they specifically mentioned, they're not touching the subclass, but he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna bring that work in a minute. He's, 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 he's chomping at the bit, I know. <laughs> see the lip, see what the lip just did? That, exactly, that, that I already know. So, <laughs> so the thing is, though, like, for me, armor is so near and dear to me. Like, again, in my article, I even said it, which is like, it, we always get weapon balances, bro. Yeah. Like, oh, it armor has been out here suffering. You know what I mean? So to to have this um these new features are really refreshing to me. Shout out to the chat, I believe it's Halo Bear. I gotta see if does this mean super mods are now going away? Is this their way of controlling that whole thing with people stacking the five you know mods or whatever based on your your, your gear set? Um, the thing that excites me is the growing with power level on your gear. So the thing where they mentioned where it's like, okay, as you keep playing and you're doing things, you get unlock an additional 
mode. And he mentioned, you know, having the the two hand cannon slots for reloading or whatever, whatever. So there's going to be a lot of balancing involved. Things can't get too crazy. So I think they're going to nerf some abilities currently, you know, right. some mods, I, I should say, currently. But um, I, I kind of like it. I, li- I like the configurability because at the end of the day, like, this is where I currently stand with Destiny and Armor. And this is why e, he teases me, right, about uh, why am I wasting material? This is why. Like, I am that guy. I'm like, yo, today I'm running, lo- I-, I got four bounties and I need linear fusion rifle kills. Guess what I'm running? I'm running my helmet. I'm running reserves. My arms, I'm running linear fusion scavenger. I literally have an armor piece set aside for every single type of weapon build so I have maximum ammo, maximum reserves on pickups. Even with hand cannons that I like. I, you know, I got to have... The... looks the way it does. Bro, it, this is how I am. I'm I'm the creature of that minutia, right? So I'm now nodding you're... heavily. <laughs> but the, you, you feel me, Scream, right? You know I'm telling that truth. I'm speaking and preaching the word right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the thing with me is, you know, now you're telling me, okay, I can... Because another thing about Desi, let's be real, it's the fashion game, right? We There's some... The, the, shout out to the, to the art team. Destiny is a beautifully designed, as far as armor is concerned and aesthetics, few can really mess with this game in that. So when you get a good piece of armor, right, and you're like, oh, great, grenade launcher scavenger. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, uh, primary grenade ammo. Are solid right now. Don't knock them. Okay, you're right. But, <laughs> like, primary ammo reserve. Oh, my. Really, Literally, my dude? Boots, boots and chest can all just go out. Just, they're done. Like, I don't know of a boot or a chest that I actually care about when it comes to legendary. Chest is yeah. flinch with um shotguns. Primary <laughs> like, <damn. laughs> primary ammo finder. <laughs> Thank you. Because I'm struggling to get my primaries oh. ever. <laughs> and on PC, like traction, and it's just some things I look at it and I'm like, why is this even a slot? You know what I mean? And like you said, chest especially. So now you're telling me. You're giving me the ability to customize the way the, the the armor that I like, the fly gear that I like, into these specific ways you're gonna have identity with that character. That's where the transmog synergy and all this stuff is really gonna come together. So I am about all of this. I'm curious to see how deep they go. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm curious to see if it's going to be a D1 thing, Scream, where, remember D1, where, like, remember when you got an exotic in D1, and yeah. you had all those bubbles? <laughs> right. <laughs> you was like, how are they going to handle this? I miss the bubbles. <laughs> remember the bubble? Yo, yo that, that grind was hard, though, remember? You was like, damn, I need to, there are 450 more spin medals. I got, like, you had to wait for the next Iron Banner, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you was hurt. You was hurt when you had that anxiety because you're like, damn, I'm happy I got it. But right. now the work begins right. <laughs> to make it work. But uh, it's going right. to be interesting how they implement it. I wonder, and, uh, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If... Bugatti. Oh, no. I was like, when you say that about earning the bubbles back, I know a lot of people don't want that back, and I'm not trying to like push go. for it. But no, I'm, I'm, I've always wondered why something about Destiny 2 has felt different than D1. And it has been that, like, the connection you get, like, the investment you put into it. Like, this is the good gun. This is the one I want to get into. Is it... I've always wondered what, like, what has felt different about D2. And I've always kind of wondered if it's that. And I'm getting feedback a little bit from one of you guys. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 that... Uh, I call it emotional investment. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because when you, you put in that work, you feel attached. I think the closest I feel with that in D2 right now, which I love a lot... It's catalysts mm. because you get that catalyst, right? Screen, and you're like, yo, you see what the potential could be when it's unlocked. Right. So then you're like, okay, what I gotta do? You know what I'm saying? First, what do I have to do to try to get it, right? What activity I have to do? And then it's like, okay, when I do get it to drop, okay, what do they want me to do to, to fill it out? And like one of my, the one that I really want so bad as a badge of honor, because you know how much E, I love the sleeper, is the sleeper catalyst. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm still working on it. I finally got all my three um, EP weapons on thing. I still got to do the Whisper stuff with you and Sinister. And then I got to do that damn raid. <laughs> Spire, you know what I'm saying? To get it. But it, it's it's like a badge of honor of your commitment to that weapon. And I kind of like that. And I think that's yeah. the closest D2 has come to D1 in that room. That's what it was. Catalyst, Catalyst was been... Oh, sorry. 
Stick no, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, Catalysts have, have been nice since they came in, but go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, yeah, like the the thing in D1 that probably, the Catalysts feel the similar as the most similar to in D1 was like the Necrochasm. But, mm. Like that's kind of how like a Catalyst yes. feels to me to an extent. It's not, I mean, and that's that was one type of exotic quest in D1, mm -hmm. um, but it was definitely an emotionally involved one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just grinding mm -hmm. that one guy for hours waiting for the drop it damn you <laughs> drop it yeah. i remember i started that when they like had docked the drop rate of it too and they didn't tell anybody for like i was like <laughs> you're like dude i've been out here for hours killing this guy what <laughs> happened right yeah for real mm -hmm. but. um but for me, basically what I'd say is like Armor 2.0, I've got more questions than I've got answers now. So it just opens up more doors. The energy system for me is interesting because mm -hmm. my curiosity say you power up the armor to increase its capacity, which lets you equip more mods. Okay. And it's like, I know when you max it out, you'll be able to equip more. Fine. How do you power it up? Do you pay for an enhancement course? Mm -hmm. Do you pay for it in legendary shards? Do you pay it for mm -hmm. in time used in activities? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. how do you get the energy on this thing? I'd love mm -hmm. to know. We don't know squad. So that's like more questions than I've got answers. But it is an energy Ooh. system. They clarified that. When it comes to the stats, now we have six of them. I'm wondering, because right now, armor stats don't matter. Right. Correct. They don't. Like, I literally went to do my, like, solo high roller nightfall build for this mm -hmm. week. And I, while I didn't equip menagerie armor, because it really didn't matter, like, go wear menagerie armor. But armor doesn't matter. Like, I went in there with just, like, all garbage perks. Did not matter what I wore. I was just literally power 750. Mm -hmm. And that's the only thing that mattered. And then my weapons, I was like, okay, I got to be able to handle the shield. So those are the important part. Armor, who gives a crap? Like it, mm -hmm. that's kind of the point I'm at with armor right now yeah, and have been nice. for a while because you, the reserve, like, and I'm not, my vault nice. is stupidly full because I have nice. like reserve scavenger. Like if I get a helm that has like, um, what would it be like? machine gun dexterity and machine gun reserves and then i get arms that have like machine gun scavenger and machine mm -hmm. machine gun reloader i'm like dude i'm like set for machine gun sweet i'm feeling mm -hmm. awesome about it yeah but that is the only thing is it is related Facts. to my weapons let's keep it a buck y'all i'm gonna ask y'all a question who really that out here master work in armor right no or uh, scream are you master work in armor i have not master worked one oh. piece of armor Salute to scream. I've never even done it myself. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, the I'm only not the only time I did it one time was literally just to see how many cores it would take so I could do the math of what it would cost. <laughs> that is the only time I have ever masterworked armors to see how much one piece cost. So I would Bro. know the total picture of masterworking an entire loadout. Yeah, I remember you did the stat, right? It was 96 what, what was... cores. Oh no, that's never wow. been done. That's no and I was just and then for what benefit, right? It was like, oh, you have 15 so it armor. would be every piece of armor would be a every core basically every level is worth mm -hmm. one percent of damage reduction so say you like all the pieces you wore were mm -hmm. like arc resistance and you had a full set mm -hmm. that you actually liked which is hard enough mm -hmm. if it was all arc resistance then you would have like a 25 percent, i think arc resistance mm -hmm. and then i think your super would have some benefit to it too but like it's pretty minor for the cost that you get out of it in the situations where you'll use it, you have three different types of damage coming at you. So honestly, mm -hmm. it's like you probably could spread out a little bit and be better off. Mm -hmm. But who's going to spend all the damn cores? Like, why? Like, that that why? was a completely lost functionality. Even when they... Mm -hmm. Now, I was like... I mean, in the start of D2, we didn't have, like... We had squat. We didn't have perks right. at the start of D2. So we got perks. That was a step in the right direction. But, like, mm -hmm. the whole master working tiny... That was a waste. <laughs> So yeah, waste, try try waste. again, and they mm -hmm. are trying again because we've been talking about armor, like exotics and all those things. Now, here's the question. Mm -hmm. That just literally popped in my head because exotics. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. what if like a new, like all the our exotics you have, mm -hmm. they don't have the new stats on them. Right. So it's like new stats, new um, maybe mod mm -hmm. slots. Are they going to be specific mods that they keep? How are all these exotic armors that we already have, which some are better than others, but how are mm -hmm. those going to drop in D3, D Shadow Heat? Scream. I have, an, I have a theory. Oh, scream. You go first. Okay. They've got to they've gotta do the old school thing where it's like you get it again, and it's the 2.0 version. You know what I'm saying? You can't touch the existing ones. Those ones have already kind of 
baked in, set in stone. I can't see them doing anything with that. So I think it's going to be a situation like how Zer does now, right? When Zer comes around, he's got the random role on said armor piece or said, you know, whatever. They're going to have to introduce that. All I'm hoping is that Destiny is sitting on so many cool armor sets that they bring these things forward so that we can have more diversity with the way we look. That's my main thing. So we have the diversity with the way we look with all these feature sets. I'm cool with that. But now if you're telling me we're going to do this new thing, kind of like weapons 2.0, right? You know, but there's still a ton of weapons that we still like, yo, fam, when is this going to get, you know, mm -hmm. looking at you, perfect paradox. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'm looking at my perfect paradox. Like, damn, I really want to, you know, do something with this. And it's just like, I I'm not going to spend all this, you know, money, you know, as far as an investment for it. You know, that's what I got. What, what, what about you, Scream? Um, yeah, I agree. I, you know, uh, it's honestly kind of one of those things where I, I we, when it comes to exotics, I always, especially exotic armor, um, mm. I, I, I always find there's one piece of exotic armor that I always use, you know, yes. like it's, and mm -hmm. it, it just, it's always kind of like, why am I going to use, like, I mean, there's things with the, just for an example like with my mm -hmm. warlock where yeah, i can get a uh i can get a pretty good super rolling if mm -hmm. i if i use um nova bomb and i'm trying to remember the helmet but it gives you like instant you know uh oh a skull skull down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 right but like why am i going to use that when my uh armenstein mm -hmm. i think it's or the karenstein armlets yeah i can get health yeah. back every single time every single i time. kill an enemy you know yep. and it's like very underrated exotic very right underrated. right so mm. i i almost never use anything but them as far as like mm. getting them back in a different way i hope there's like a way where if you if you have them you can like if you have the old version you trade in for the new version like on a chance i you know mm. like like maybe i don't know if they've have they gone into specifically any ideas that they have for how you trade up or is this complete it's complete speculation complete speculation at this point okay. they really yeah they're really being tight -lipped. i want to make sure i wasn't missing something i would mm -hmm. hope that maybe like there's a way like say zer you can trade in your old ones like turn them in and you get like a token that you mm -hmm. can redeem that gives you like a rng mm -hmm. role on a new piece of 2.0 you know that kind mm -hmm. of thing oh, that'd be nice. and maybe <laughs> it's not specific Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe it's just a random role for that uh, mm -hmm. specific piece, but uh, be nice. you know, mm -hmm. beyond that, I'm not totally sure. I'll I'll, I'll watch with. Mm -hmm. Scream! You, you cut out there, little scream. Oh, uh, I'll say I'll uh, sorry. I'll watch with uh, weighted breath. No, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was something <laughs> like that, but you just cut off, yeah. and I was like, you oh, watch okay. with, and we're like. We're way, dramatic way, dramatic way, pause. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. Very no, pregnant really pause there. Anything, so, um, yeah, my question honestly is mostly going to be about how the hell we get the mod components. Like, I've got, you know, a Reverie Dawn helm that has enhanced sniper rifle targeting and a, you know, notorious chest that has enhanced sniper rifle dexterity. Like, am I going to be able to break those down and pull the mods off of them? Is that old stuff? Is literally like Shadow Keep going to be a line and it's just. Everything's new going forward. It's like those are some of the questions because honestly, crap, mm -hmm. I'd go through and delete most of my unless it's just like perfect stuff that might kind of tide me over till I get some good rolls. Mm -hmm. Like unless it's those, like I'll dump everything if I knew Bro, that. But I don't know. I think it's happening. I think it's happening. I think I'm honestly okay know. with it. Like, I yeah, I think it's literally, I, and I'll be okay with it too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're like, because I think didn't they already kind of start some initiatives? Like, hey guys, if this. Delete it now. They've already started with something. Well, that was, was the it? bright dust stuff. Yeah, that was the right. bright dust. They, they, I wouldn't be surprised. They pull, you know, like that week before launch, give you a taste, right, of Armor 2.0. And then it's like, yo, just for a heads up, before Shadow Keep goes live, if you're running around with this, you don't have to hold on to this old stuff. It's going to be useless or it's not going to have the same effect or you should trade it in for these parts or whatever. Of, if there's some new currency, who knows? But I think there will be some sort of onboarding slash transitionary phase when they probably implement 2.0. Because this is a lot of stuff they're going to add. 
It's yeah, lot. I mean, we're going to have new stats on our characters to look at and track, and then we look over mm-hmm. at our old armor. It's not going to help those at all. So, like, a piece of blue armor is probably going to have more stats than we've got now. So, I mean, if we're, as we're leveling up, honestly, it might just be like, we're clean slated. Here we go. Mm-hmm. I just It's like, if I knew I got nothing from the old armor, like I couldn't break it down, get anything from it, mm-hmm. I honestly don't know, because it seems the way it looks like with armor 2.0 is like, if you unlock the ability to use, say, like, recovery five for example Mm -hmm. like the higher recovery it Mm -hmm. seemed in my head it's just like you pick it but it's always available it's not like Mm -hmm. i have to go use like i have to keep my 17 super mods or something in case i need to use those later so Mm -hmm. there's not like a currency anymore with mods it's Mm -hmm. like it's like inherent to just Mm -hmm. like the armor selection energy piece itself so i'm wondering Mm -hmm. i literally just have more questions than answers the more i think about it it's ridiculous so i always thought that maybe be interesting i don't know if this is Again, maybe something that they're kind of doing, but I always thought that um, Destiny Two like armor modifications would do well with like a Diablo style like um, you know slot system where you have mm-hmm. like a piece that has so many different slots and it, the, you can like stack however many fit in that block space on mm-hmm. the weapon. Yeah, I, I mean, and then maybe so like you get sort of like these weird patterns of like, talking about mod- like Diablo sockets and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Diablo sockets. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. interesting like that, but mm-hmm. definitely a possibility. Though. We got to see how to go handle this thing and how they will on board. That will be the key. Yeah. I just want some clarification before it happens. And there was one little piece. I feel like when it mentioned for destiny two will be live on steam on that. Like I swear they're describing that steam, like shadow keep live, it sounds like, and I'm praying it's not, but like the verbiage that I keep seeing is like it's day and date, and I'm like, you better let me move my stuff over before. Like mm, we kind of like, talked, we we talked, didn't we? Kind of talked to them. Yeah, about that? we talked a little. And I feel like I keep seeing something somewhere that like a little pre switch of so, or like let me make sure it's there. I don't even care if I play. I just want to log in and be able to see my characters, but I can't hit a server or something until the seventeenth. Like I just right. want to know it's there. So I'll be very curious about the Steam switch. So. Yeah, we just keep piling these questions on, and we don't have answers yet. So the summer hopefully (laughs) will open some thing. But the TWAB did drop yesterday night. Thank you to Cosmo. We did get a chance Mm -hmm. to meet that gentleman. Still always taller than I expect. (laughs) Oh, I'm like, what's up, man? (laughs) He's easy to spot at Guardian Con. He's definitely one of the taller ones. Mm -hmm. Um, But they said, you know, we've begun to see shadows lurking around this season. You know, the moon's haunted. Everything mm-hmm. like that. So people are working on triumphs. Um, and they also talked about the cheese a little bit. So, But the big mm-hmm. thing we got next week, they're a little bit of... We don't have... It's a light couple of weeks. Um, Iron Banner is next mm-hmm. week. So we've got yeah. July 23rd to July 30th. You've got your boost in Valor. So if you're working on Valor resets for any reason, it's a good time to spend some time in there. <laughs> for any reason. Um <laughs> And then, of course, if you guys are working on the quest path that you go through, they say they tweak some stuff a little bit, but not for this Iron Banner. It's going to be for the next Iron Banner. So some of those mm-hmm. where you need, like, all the kills or whatever the steps are that were slow. I think it was the grenades people were having trouble with. Um, yeah. That will be tweaked, I guess, in the final one. So not yet. Mm-hmm. But the big section that I kind of wanted to get your guys' thoughts on this one, or at least what your interpretation of the verbiage is, a guardian always pays their debts. <laughs> As part of Season of Opulence, Guardians are paying homage to their previous adventures to earn some awesome rewards. Some of us leveraged an exploit in the Tribute (laughs) Hall. Taking advantage of Callus' generosity with some clever character switching shenanigans to place that free tribute over and over and over. (coughs) You you get it. Scream alert! (laughs) You did what now? (laughs) This allowed some players... (coughs) Scream! (coughs) (laughs) <laughs> to excuse me, to skip the tribute experience entirely, making mm-hmm. other players who had done bounties and pledged large amounts of their resources feel kind of irked. Mm-hmm. We will be fixing this glitch on July 30th as we kicked off kick off Solstice of Heroes. As all of you know, it is not our policy to punish players who discover cheeses, loot caves, or workarounds in the game. Scream. If you took advantage of the shortcut, you can rest easy. You won't be marched in front of Cal's for sentencing. I love how this is all written, by the way. It's great. (laughs) Um, However, you will not be able to keep using all of your ill-gotten rewards until you square up things with Callus. The tribute's place total will 
will now accurately reflect tributes based on your accounts. If mm. you use the exploit, and this is the one I want to know what you guys think, because the way I read this, it could be interesting, because mm -hmm. I know I helped somebody do the cheese, <laughs> so I'm not mm -hmm. sure if they're going to be mad. Because I didn't do, I didn't get a chance to do the cheese. I was like already in it before mm. I knew. Yeah, uh, exactly if you too. use the exploit, the number mm. will update to the properly reflected total number of tributes you've actually placed. The yep. activation and equipping of both the Bad Juju Catalyst and mm. X Marks the Spot emotes are also gated by your total number of tributes placed. Bad Juju will not require you to to have 18 tributes placed for it to be used. If you mm. choose your way to the Catalyst or emote, you have some time to start placing legit tributes before July 30th. Wow, this so do you do you think now the way <laughs> I read this, I want your thoughts. Like oh. you're you're not gonna be able to use the emote or the catalyst if you cheese it. Is that the way you guys read it? Like Scream, they're gonna deactivate like those. <laughs> I, I think it, you'll be able to use it up until they reset it. So you can. It's. I feel like what they're saying is that you can basically use what you've gotten up until they reset it to make sure that you're squared away by the time they reset it. But if you haven't by then, yeah, I think they're. Snatching that away from you. <laughs> <laughs> so they're taking the they're taking the catalyst away. I how, I how does that work? I mean, I I, I don't know I'm, how they're they're doing. Are they gonna it. It gray be... it out? Are they gonna gray it out like how they did with uh with, with play the remember the uh, PlayStation oh, the, like, exclusives that came yeah, with yeah. Xbox and PC? Uh, how, how you gonna get in in jail with Juju? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know how they'll I, I don't know how it'll display, but that's certainly what it sounds like. It's like use the catalyst to make sure that you'll hold on to the catalyst. <laughs> well, that's what I'm wondering. Like if you if you don't get your five hundred kills or whatever with the catalyst and you don't equip it, is that gonna be unlocked? If you get the five hundred kills, you even turn it on, are they still gonna grade out of it if your tribute hall's not? I'm wondering how far they reach with that like that uh, pullback. That's great. This they definitely great. have given themselves uh, some room to stretch it if they want. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering. Like, if you, they won't take your gun away, but the catalyst you'll have to really earn. Nah, so. You know what they need uh, to do? They need to shame y'all and do put, a, put something over your so. body. <laughs> you, have, you have a dunce cap at the start of Shadowkeep? Yes. <laughs> Guess I'm heading to the forges. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is funny. This is like... This Black is Wings is out there. Juju Jail. <laughs> Juju Jail, they gotta catch up. <laughs> they heard about Scream. This is payback. Oh, actually, no, it'd be perfect. You have the little bad Juju skull just floating around you as kind of a little emote, just like glaring yeah. at you constantly because you cheated to just get it. Arm crossed. You know. Yeah, it's just sitting over here like. Mm. Uh, yo, but how foul is that if they wave splitter your Juju and you can't touch it until you get Scream? <laughs> <laughs> hilarious. So I think this is like I yeah. think it's the greatest part of the top. Continue. I was like, so I was like, yeah, I think the gun will not go away, but the use of the catalyst or the emote, those are the ones you risk, and I think they might leave you. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so that's yeah, the so big one. Some debts to clear up. Yeah, you guys got to put some work in, or at least farm some things. <laughs> Scream is actively and, out, get around. It's he's literally in logging in right now. <laughs> logging in right now. Actively farming. Taping mm. up the controller. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's what's up. This is funny. This is this is a good one. Yep. Oh man. So interesting enough, before we move on, um a certain other exploit had one mention. The farm? Mm-hmm. I was surprised oh. by that. I thought both was I thought the hammer was coming down on both. I was like, let me see how they handle this. Honestly, there was I don't, something like, I thought they tweeted out. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see any direct I haven't, reference. I haven't seen anything to about the farm. For it genomics. Yeah, <laughs> genomics. Maybe I just heard somebody else like saying, I think mm -hmm. it's fixed. Maybe I got enough mm -hmm. comments on the video saying, I think it's fixed because I got dropped to orbit. And maybe I'm confusing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm wondering if they've like casually tagged that in the background because I feel like I have mm -hmm. been getting kicked more and more. So. 
Yo, the, the chat is and lit. Right now. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> chat lit right now. Black <laughs> Wing said Bungie needs to make it a moat that is just a guardian eating a block of cheese and drinking wine and call it I earned this. <laughs> Shadow <laughs> says make it like the aura when you get a hundred K in nightfall, but instead you're forever given a permanent emblem until you get legit. Yo, I like that one, Dano. That's the I want shame. I want they should have the shame emote from Game of Thrones. <laughs> Shame. Shame, 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 <laughs> shame. Oh, this is great. No, think about how much fun they can have with this, <laughs> even though they get killed for doing it. But it will be there that ghost emote that like has the, it's just like the projection of a piece of cheese. Is that oh. real? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, you got to stay with a permanent cheese emblem until you get squared away. <laughs> that is. That would be. That would be too funny. Be like, well, how do you get that emblem, dude? You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want this life, man. You gotta, you gotta get... get banned for a week for this. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> brother's gonna be out here serving it's sentences. It's in the secret triumph tab. <laughs> <laughs> Under don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this is the the fun this could have. It could be great. So. <laughs> yeah um so yes enjoy it while you can is all they will say to you and usually and that's honestly one of those things bungie has been decent about be like hey game's broken mm-hmm. okay you got it well <laughs> we're, we're gonna we're gonna play with it a little bit this time but we're not taking it all away so. mm-hmm. <laughs> well at least uh, one thing we got to say real quick is that unlike some games anthem <clears throat> that <laughs> if you know if they find you find something exploiting their game Bungie pl- is playful with it in the sense they know what you're doing, but you know it's not going to be one of them situations. And I remember what happened. I didn't. It was just you know it, it was crazy. So at least you know I like their lighthearted humor with stuff, and they take responsibility that it's a mistake on their part, and yeah. you know. But obviously they're gonna they're gonna you know do some justice, you know, and get things squared away. So um, I I I, I got to give them that for the most part. They're very cool when things like this happen. I feel. Yep. So mm-hmm. agreed. Agreed. Yeah, they, they handle them well. Been like, mm-hmm. you found something that's broken. Good job. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. know, we'll fix it as soon as we can. Right, we'll fix it is. It. And thanks. We, you know, that's remember great. when Anthem had that joint? It was oh, a different that was energy. Serious stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you different. ban a con, like really ban like for using an in-game thing, it's like. And it's honestly the thing about that that was worse. It's a PvE game. You do nothing but break the game for yourself. Mm-hmm. Literally no PvP. No implications of like, mm-hmm. oh, this is going to be too easy. You're making the game... <coughs> that one person make the game easier for themselves or they're getting more loot for them. It's like, who cares? Right. It was always yeah, weird. Absolutely. Yeah, um, day, it's still a mistake in their game. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. Yeah, completely. completely uh, did want to shout out Movie of the Week, though. Quick. Mm-hmm. Watch it. Sure. Check it out. Solo Riven. Really, I haven't seen it yet. after at, like it was done during revelry because you could have the buff and some things were kind of broken. This mm-hmm. is the first time post patch. Wow. So I know it was Bax. I want to say it's Baxley is the gentleman who did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then shortly after, I saw Slayer Age did it because I think he probably used a similar strat. But mm-hmm. um, dude, like to do Seriously. it alone even during revelry takes a lot of guessing. Like they were mm-hmm. in there for ten hours to get reasonable attempts because you have to guess on the eyes. You absolutely have to guess. So to mm-hmm. solo it at all, that is some hella work. Like that's oh. like oh, I'll solo Night Falls, Shattered Throne, Zero, raid like solo? raid Next boss level. solo, like and Riven as damn complicated as she is. Mm-mm. That is so like dumb. literally one in I don't even know. But that's yeah. Mm-hmm. I wanted to shout that one out because that is absolutely mm-hmm. bonkers. I think I heard one of the strats is like the hunter. It's the hunter. Punch Armor, and shotgun arms. type thing. Yeah, yep. something going on with melee and stuff right now. Yeah, that's cool. Shout out the hunters, man. They're getting some uh, nice buff right now. So uh, do do what you got to do, man. But not nah, that, that even with a buff like that, soloing a raid is next level. Like that's I don't care what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like that's next level. Yeah, I've always thought about trying that. to solo Cali, but I think most people soloed Cali when Whisper was better. So I don't know if you could mm-hmm. do it now. Mm-hmm. I'd be curious to see. Um, yeah, with Whisper in the state. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they said it's been a light couple of news weeks, um, but they yeah. do have more stuff coming. So mm-hmm. we know you have questions about cross save, shadow keep, new character customization, season of undying, and things we haven't even hinted at yet. Yay! 
Uh, this one will be the time to get you ready for another moon launch. And shout out to Cosmo. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in his twabs, get something related to a cat in there. Mm. And Deej gave him a hard time. And it's in there now. I don't know if it was not or nobody noticed it at first, but on that bottom line next to the mm -hmm. word shadow keep, that comma mm -hmm. is a different color. Yes. And it links you to cats. The new oh, musical. Hilarious. So, yes. Still got it in there. Shout out to Cosmo. Nice. Getting, getting his cat work in. That one's actually Ooh. pretty hilarious. Um, nice. So. Mm -hmm. Uh yeah, so that's I mean the TWAB is pretty light. We've got some stuff going on. Um, I, I got just wanted... one thing I wanted to add real oh, quick. Oh no, yeah, you are you are um, good. Just one. Did we talk about the? Have you guys seen that four minute? Video? That's where I was. That's where I was going. So. Oh okay, yeah. guys, yep. we make sure we get that in. Yeah, yep. guys, set, set it up there. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen, they did the moon destination reveal yesterday. Uh, it's about a four minute Vidoc talking about um just bringing the moon back into Destiny. Um, mm -hmm. We've heard little things about, I mean, there was previous talks I saw it was either in an interview or something like that. Like Destiny 2 can only get so big. Like it's right. about 100 gig right now on yeah. to certain consoles. Like bigger it gets, mm -hmm. you keep adding destinations. Like this could be, so I kind of have two questions on this one for you guys as well. Open it for discussion. Mm -hmm. One, mm -hmm. do you guys think this will be the last destination we get? And then two, just what are your thoughts about everything in that moon reel? Like, Thoughts about like how big it is, what it looks like, what the little floating stuff is. Like, I just want to know your overall thoughts on that moon reveal. Quick, quick question: Define last destination we get of what Destiny Two. Like when I said destination, like planet. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Got like more space of occup. How how much bigger can the game get? Is what I'm getting after. Well, let's scream go. Scream. Um, as far as the last destination we get, I really don't know. Because uh, you're right, it is really, really big. But um, I think there might be some way that they reorganize the game into like which was more content and the and the earlier, maybe less relevant sections through the whole playthrough becoming maybe a little bit more streamlined. I don't mm -hmm. know. As the game, I, I would assume if they wanted to continue to add, they would have to do something like that at a certain mm -hmm. point. Yeah. Well, like I mean, D2 at this point, like, you know, something you can kind of, I, I don't want to say jump over, but sort of just move rapidly, quickly through. Play maybe more if you really, really want to. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, as, as the moon looks great from what mm -hmm. I saw in the Vidoc. I like how they're sort of revamping the uh, the color scheme of it. Um, yeah, and yeah, red there's going to nice. be those. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, some of those areas that, you know, you would, you kind of always hoped would have something in them seem mm -hmm. like they're going to be explorable now i know they there was one um lost sector in like that central area where that yeah. big, uh helium filament farm was yes so, yes yeah, things like that um i always liked the moon uh, yeah, me too. so i mean i don't know exactly what they're i mean i don't even know necessarily how big the moon will be comparatively like I, i'm mm -hmm. i'm envisioning something i'll uh, you know like along the size of like maybe like a mars you know like mm -hmm. they said I mean, twice because... what the moon used to be mm -hmm. twice what the moon used to be think of it Actually, probably something I'm along the lines right of... in d1 like four right. major zones in yeah, like, you had, like three in the underground basically um, yeah mm -hmm. The expansion itself they're saying that's pretty of, big like rise of iron that's pretty big that's wise too yep mm -hmm. comparatively you were saying scream you there man scream is gone <laughs> all right i'll pick up for him then right. <laughs> i might have oh you might have there he is he's back yeah i don't know what that was maybe it was my internet but uh what was the last thing you heard me say sorry <laughs> Uh, we were talking about moon. We were talking about size. Oh, the size, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. What and what was your final question? I I can't remember. E. There was. The, I was just the. I mean, just everything about the vi the the moon reveal. Just kind of your thoughts because you've got everything from you've got the big castle. You know, it's twice as big as the moon potentially before. Like, 
they're implementing lost sectors. You got the little floating bodies, like just that all the stuff about it. Oh yes, that was it. The floating bodies. Yeah, I don't know what that that whole deal is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, you know, probably a good uh, area for some lore exploration for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely, hundred um, percent. But um, I mean, it, they look certainly like humans. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, Seems like a head and four arms, and they Ooh. definitely seem taken. So... I don't know what humans you're talking about with four arms, but continue. Those are falling, buddy. Correct. Leave it to be correct. Here we go. Lord correction himself. Four arms, oh, God. Like, um, <laughs> humans, you know, four arms, six legs. Human. <laughs> don't uh, worry about it, Scream. I deal with it every Don't you worry about it. You take that in correct. stride. You keep pushing, brother. Uh, they, I mean, it definitely looks taken to me. Shut up. Um, so, who, you know, really all I could speculate at this point. <laughs> Look at that forearm human on screen. <laughs> I just looked e? over. The forearm human. <laughs> Who does that? Who, who, who does that remind me of? There was like an alien in some movie where he just had big arms like that above his head, and he would just. Go... <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Good to you. Um, yeah, I mean that's really I. Yeah, that's what you got. Yeah, that's all. I mean, obviously, the hive and the taken are mm -hmm. somewhat closely related as far as lore goes. I'm not as. I mean, I love the lore. I'm never always the best speculator of lore, but. Mm -hmm. It seems like they would be something, you know, the moon taken, Ooh. maybe, uh, maybe mixed in together. I'm kind of mm -hmm. curious as like what that big thing on Nessus was, mm -hmm. that uh, that big zone, that underdeveloped zone of the that seemed to have some taken in it too. I, you know, I'm kind of curious about that because mm -hmm. I thought that may maybe be mm -hmm. something with Shadow Keep, maybe some sort of like mm -hmm. branch mission, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah. That might be yeah. something later. Yeah, we gotta see. We gotta see. I mean, I mean, I definitely saw the the, the four minute Vidoc thing. Um, we really, one thing about Bungie, they really do a great job of, of promoting, and this is cool to see, especially free from Activision, how they handle. And I thought this was really good. And um, first thing we gotta, we didn't even talk about our girl Eris. Oh yeah, you know, man, stumbling, bumbling, touching stuff, and getting feels and. This weird gun that looks like has relics of her old team on it or something. And she's always in a tunnel somewhere. Yeah, she's like in a tunnel doing something. And you know, I Touching just need to hear all the crazy conniption stuff. talk. That's what I'm for. I'm for all that conniption talk. And I'm all I want to know if because of the fun relationship her and Kate had, if she references the home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She, you know, she's got to reference the homies. We know she ain't no big hearted person. But, you know, the get your rock off my map was like classic stuff. That was you one of my favorite lines. Yeah. It's one of my favorite lines. And him stealing her ship. And I mean, it's always fun games between him. I mean, he he had on her friends. But I wanted to see, like, you know, how she acknowledges that. But enough about that. Cade was definitely the Han to her Leia. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, the thing is, I want to see, you know, from what we saw, the locales looked dope. You know, it's it's the moon, but it's the moon revisited. Like you said, scream the red that they're ominous. That tower is just ominous. The the twice the size of it. The, I, I remember that part of the map on the right side where you would walk past that structure, but now they're saying you can go in that whole thing. Mm -hmm. That lost, excites lost me. Sectors now. That really yeah. excited me. Yeah, big time excitement. You know, so it's just not like I know a lot of people are gonna give it. Bungie's reusing assets again, and okay, fine. But this look cool. I don't care what you say. This thing looks cool to me. The dead guardian or four armed humans, whatever we calling them, four -armed humans. It's like yo, octopus. That, <laughs> that, yo, <laughs> that look. That's cool. what they're called now. And I, I got a theory. My theory, right? I, literally, I have no law. Shout out to mine. I'm gonna hit up my, my. No, the truth. But I'm just speculating. Like they keep going on this nightmare thing theme right mm -hmm. facing your fears and we've already got com confirmation that older people we've already defeated we're gonna have to face mm -hmm. single crota i think hints of oryx you know what i'm saying i'm the goal i'm the goal like it would be dope if we got like a little gauntlet of bosses and stuff like that or if we get i want you know, dr she's... wiley's castle say there you go you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. all the bosses 
All the bosses. That, how lit would that be? Yeah, Just this is stuff boss I, fight menagerie. <laughs> oh, that literally is. That, this is Addict's dream. He's all about boss fights. So we were talking about it. it was just like, I was like, yo, there's a there's a strong possibility. So we got to see what's going on with that. What's the true source? I'm not feeling taken just yet. I hope not. But I, you know, I'm not. I mean, if it is, it is. But I, I get the sense of something different. But this nightmare thing seems mm. different. I want to see where they go with it. And um, what was the last thing I was going to say? Like, just in general, like, um, the Dark Guard, like, I, I want to know if we get more closure with her original team because she alludes to suffering, right? She alludes to, you know, their suffering, they're being tormented. People are being tormented. So I got to see what's going on. The moon's going to be lit. They they talk about the fall and got a, got a set up shop. They, they running for retreating. It's looking yeah. spooky for them. Yeah, man, this 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 day in that catch or whatever. I, I can't wait. I can't wait. This is exciting to me. I want to see the moon. Is I didn't realize how much I missed the moon until I saw this. But e, I'm gonna let you go. I know you chomping. Oh no. Um, I mean, you guys are hitting mm -hmm. all good things. So, mm -hmm. I mean, for me on the moon, you've got the giant castle looks huge. Woo! Like when they get closer and closer to that spire, it looks like quite massive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that looks amazing. Uh, the keep set up to that. That's probably going to be its own new zone or potentially part of the Hellmouth, but it's it looks so much bigger than just the Hellmouth, for sure. Shattered Throne 2.0. And that's what I was getting to. So we know the raid be. is on the Black Garden. How on earth they connect the lore to that, I have no clue. Yeah. And I really hope they do connect it somehow, because if it's just mm -hmm. an arbitrary, here's a raid, like, not cool. Mm -hmm. But the dungeon... Mm -hmm. If the dungeon is in the new little red castle keep thing they got going go. on, I'm gonna be living in there. You know where I'll be. You gonna so. hit up your man. You gonna hit up your man Hydras. Yeah, shout out to Nine Hydras. Mm -hmm. Met him at Guardian Con. If he's involved mm -hmm. in making a new dungeon, and I'm wondering because the little rotating, they look like a forest trap. They're like the spiky mm -hmm. rotating cylinders that you see, and they're kind of moving mm -hmm. up and down. That still looks like it's on the moon. It doesn't mm -hmm. look like it would be a raid thing. So that yeah. feels like that would be like a dungeon jumping puzzle mechanic type thing, not a mm -hmm. not a raid mechanic jumping puzzle. So I'm mm -hmm. like, this could be fun. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it was really cool. They took like most places. Um, I mean, they, yeah, they took the one section on the moon where you're like, hey, there was this little building and you're like, yeah, I mm -hmm. could go in here and pick up a chest. Well, now it's a whole lost sector before you would actually mm -hmm. go down and, you know, mm -hmm. wake up the hive. And then, mm -hmm. um, no, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I think... Between Armor 2.0, the moon coming back and being popular, and I think the moon is going to be sizable, the underground, like, they relit, they went through and redid it. I mean, yeah, they may have used, like, geometry of the moon, yeah. but they went through and looked like they retextured, relit just about everything in there, gave it a different feel, because mm -hmm. um, if you look in there, they even talk about just, like, the feeling of, like, oversaturating the lighting and then changing yeah. that up for the new one to yeah. give it a different, just a different, completely different aesthetic. And then we've got the mm -hmm. hive. But are these like the Sauron touched hive with like the red across their face? Because they all look, mm. they all look to have a different color scheme to it. And they're not just like gray hive. Right. They have that like, the acolytes specifically, you see it in the videos, like they have like the red face. Something's mm -hmm. up. Like they're, I don't know if they're going to have different abilities, kind of like the frozen hive would be mm -hmm. slightly tweaked. And we got like the snipers there. I'm curious what we see. But yeah, we've got possibly some different hive but yeah a mm -hmm. big dr wiley's boss room situation oh, okay. i yeah. don't see it happening maybe that maybe those the bosses are going to be like so i guess here's the question would it be a letdown if those were like the um what were they in the te the barons like the baron adventures if the bosses like, like, were treated like, like, like missions like campaign missions. Yeah. Mm, i'm okay with it i mean i ain't gonna go crazy but i, I would love the other thing you know what i'm saying yeah, I just don't know how. I don't know how. Again, I have no idea how they'll implement the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the story we go through and fight, but yeah, I'm kind of curious where all the bosses are going to come in because there's quite a few we saw. Quite a few. Quite yeah. a few. Like every strike area seems to be redone. So absolutely, yeah, I want to see that full golf. I want to see if they what was that. the one I can't remember. Um, uh, with, oh God. You used to be able to get his crown as a helmet if you were a warlock. Oh, they showed oh. that redone. It had the big yeah. ball, spinning ball. Well, when he had the yes. three phases of solar arc and void, like Morlock. Uh, Morlock. 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 Yeah. Morlock, yeah. Or mm -hmm. Maylock. I can't remember if it's Maylock. Something like that, but yeah. Yep. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, soloing yep. that yes. nightfall was a pain in the butt. That yes. was a tough one. 
tough one. Absolutely. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm definitely more confident with each bit of information. When do you guys think the uh, full-blown marketing push with, with July now? We know it's, what, September I mean, we're 17th? two months out, basically. We're two months out. So when do we think we start getting them Vidox, them, them Twitch studio deals? Depends on... I mean, I'm sure it's probably going to be close to ready. I don't know if they play the game of... You drop this trailer, we'll drop this trailer. Like, do they mm. play it against? Because, I mean, you got Borderlands, Link's Awakening, Monster Hunter mm. World. You have a lot coming out around that time. Mm. Are they going to try and, like, make sure and get their pieces? I mean, they're going to probably have their schedule. I would probably mm. see for them, they're going to have a push for Steam in and of itself. Right. They're going to have that probably paired with something for New Light. I could see that a couple weeks before. Mm. Like, get ready, Destiny 2 is coming free. I could probably see that come into... Um, Probably no more than two weeks. I can almost see it starting in September. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Because they've course. waited, like, I don't know. It's like the expansion I know will be bigger. New Light Stadia is going to have its own push. Mm -hmm. Some of those things will be closer, and Stadia is later when it releases. But yeah. I could see they've done everything really close to the seasons. Mm -hmm. But I guess for the expansion, I, could, I might see it sooner. That might want to yeah. be a little sooner. I don't know. They could do it okay, a couple different you, ways. When do you think the, uh, the push they might go? Um, I think uh, you're gonna see to see a lot of stuff like on or about Labor Day, like around that time, mm. you know, end of end of August, early September. Oh, yeah, okay, so you gotta say it much later. Okay, we we differ, but I to see where y'all going with it. What, what are you thinking next week? I'm thinking like at latest top of August. I mean, I remember like Forsaken stuff. We was getting that Game Informer breakdowns like almost like a full month, two months ahead of time. They've already mm -hmm. technically talking about Shadow Keep right now. <laughs> like they literally giving us Vi Vidox right now. Like so, I mean, like, you could I guess they say the the push has started already. Yeah, right? to me, we in the push. Like there's there's mm -hmm. no doubt in my mind. They, this is critical for them on their own. We're gonna be getting drip. They drip, they've been drip feeding a lot early. I mean, this Polygon article. With noseworthy and loop, you know what I'm saying? Like I could see another big outlet. I think it's gonna come down to what happened last time, which was um normally before it used to be game inform, right? Mm -hmm. The game inform will get these big blowouts, we'll get the information. I think it's gonna be whoever wins them getting right. Shout out to my dudes at I don't think game informer is gonna cover Shadow Keep. I think they're probably gonna take Borderlands three if they haven't already. It, it may be. And, and last time, if I recall. Fireteam chat and IGN is the ones that had um what's I believe the last big one was it Last Wish or something like that. As mm, far as like the might of yeah, I know they have yeah. one push for sure. I know they got something, yeah. so they might be working. Some out. other entity, bigger outlet, was um was in control of it. So I think it's gonna be, you know, the bidding war gonna be high <laughs> for yeah. whoever's gonna get it. And yeah, I think we're gonna start getting they're gonna start trickling stuff. And like you said, because think about you. Forget about the game itself, which has a ton of new content and a ton of new things they're gonna implement. We've got all the things you said. We've got Stadia. We've got Cross Save. We've got Battle.net ending going now over the, you know what I'm saying? The Steam. Steam. Like, you've got huge transitionary things. You got to give people a ton of time to get ready to make sure it's done right. Cause you know, people are going to, there's going to be up that, that fact that needs to go out, right? Hey, I got this. What happens? Oh my God. I have but but I preloaded. Yep. I I need to pre-order. I already own. You already know they gonna get inundated. They've got to be so ahead of the game with this. So I say now we in it. This is very early drip feed. Top of August first two weeks, they are gonna get that marketing blitz going. They gonna they gonna they gonna really and they need to. I mean, let's be honest. Borderlands are still out there too. You know, Monster Hunters out there and all these other games and they, they got they got to. What, what do you guys think about, um, sort of as a question, mm -hmm. is, I mean, as far as like another Bungie live stream, do you think they're going to do, have they announced another one? And when do you think, if they haven't, when do you think they would do another one? So they haven't so, announced one. I know that for sure. They uh, haven't announced one yet. What do you think? You think they'll do one? Definitely. Definitely. Right. We got to get the Armor 2.0 break. We've got to get, um, they're going to probably do maybe like two i would say maybe one two or three kind of like the old four i mean this is what again this was the old activision format so who knows but well, remember how they would give you like a little piece this is how armor is going to work and yep. this is whatever whatever and then whatever redacted surprise we're going to get 
I think most likely we're going to get either some mode, some new activity, or some returning mode that they're holding on to. Because they, these guys are out at the summits now, right? Shout out to the queen. And she came back, right? Red queen and stuff. A lot of people are out at these um, summits that are getting the experience now. You know what I mean? These content creators. So wait for next week. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the queen. We, we'll try to dig a little bit. We'll try to break some NDA. We, we can't. can't do that, sir. We got to stay professional. We can hint. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> Look to They're the like, excuse me. Excuse me. Did you, did you get, did you answer? Did you ask them this? What did they say? Exactly. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Or I could just ask questions like, how confident do you feel about Right. Me? What are your feelings about what you have in the future? Are you excited? Are you excited? Uh, were there any moments of drastic surprise? Has any new? <laughs> There you go. I'm gonna go for emotional questions. I need to know emotional your emotional roller coaster. Of belief. Could go. There you go. Mm-hmm. You don't have to tell me what you saw, but I want to know how you felt. Yep. <laughs> Agreed. Blackwing's out there. Uh, he's like, I'm about to stream. Maybe a long Vidoc. I can see a Vidoc. I can see that. Yeah. I can, I can see, see a see couple Vidocs too. Be like, hey, check out this Vidoc going with the Twab. They'll usually drop those on like a Ooh. Wednesday and then cover some info on like a Thursday Ooh. in the Twab if they don't want to do a full stream because. Stream is pretty big get up. I mean, take yeah. some effort and like the Vidox are a little more curated, especially if mm-hmm. they want like a specific message when it comes to mm-hmm. that. And I think they've also kind of steered away from here's the Destiny what Destiny One fashion game. Walk out, <laughs> turn right back. Walk out, turn mm-hmm. right back. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I could definitely see. I still would like to see one stream because it's just because I was enjoying them at least. I know. Um, but I think the Vidox would probably work a little better for mm-hmm. specifically explaining. Hey, this is armor 2.0. This is what, like any armor you got right now going forward. Like just some clarification on things that is like nobody's interpreting a stream. It's like it's a curated Vidoc. This is the information we want. So mm-hmm. one or two of those might be good. Yeah, Dan's got a good question. Yeah, I was going to get to it. So yeah. have you guys looked through the Vidoc enough to see basically what I would guess potentially either maybe it's a raid boss or the main okay. boss? Like what do you guys think? The Do you think the campaign and the raid... <laughs> For one, are going to tie, and what do you think the bosses are going to be like? Because the main thing they say is like she like she goes down, she awakens these nightmares for what Eris mm-hmm. does, however and whatever. Mm-hmm. Do you think we're actually fighting something hive, or do you think it's something kind of different? What are you guys feeling? Mm. So what what do you think we're going to fight in either the raid, the campaign, or both? I'll jump in. Go um, ahead. I'm legit stumped. Because the easy thing for, to me, in my opinion, is like Sabathon, right? you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, things that we kind of know about her, you know, returning. But there's a lot going on in Destiny right now, right? You know, there's a lot lore wise going on. And I don't think we're going to get Drifter stuff resolution, but we still got to figure out when is Aldrin involving himself with anything, uh, right? Mm-hmm. So the other question is, I'm curious. I'm going to learn a lot how Eris is introduced, because is it going to be a situation like Taken King where she, I mean, she pulls up at the tower, you know what I'm saying, or whatever it was, and you know, it's like you know, Akora is there. There's that vanguard council, right, of what's going to happen, you know, um, you know, let's see about that, or is it a situation where it's kind of like she, maybe she just reaches out to Akora or one person on the slide or just a guardian. You know what I'm saying? But she has the relationship with the Vanguard. So, you know, I'm curious. I think how she's introduced is going to tell us a lot as far as in game. As far as the boss is concerned, man, I mean, we're hearing what Black Garden already, right? Confirmed mm. in it in what capacity? Did they, did they stay? The raid is in Black Garden to my knowledge. Okay. So, okay. Mm. So if that's confirmed, I'm all messed up. Because wasn't that Vex before? That was, that? yeah, that was Vex doing mm-hmm. Black Garden, but then you had the heart of the Black Garden, which Black we ended Garden up shooting, but yeah, that was taking stripped. control of the yeah. Minotaurs, and yeah, it's it's it was I, just I a blob, know, the blob, yeah. So it's just like to, I am legit stumped. I I do not know where this is going, and I'm very curious. I, I'm gonna give it up to, to screen. What do you what do you think, man? Um, I definitely think the campaign is going to tie into the raid just because they seem yes. to be wanting to do a lot more of that. So yes. like, 
And so I think that's going to be, yeah, a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I think it has to, this is what I think is going (laughs) to, I keep saying, I think, but Mm -hmm. like, I feel as though her story, um, Mm -hmm. the end of whatever happens here, the culmination Mm -hmm. of whatever happens here as Mm -hmm. far as lore I don't know if it's going to have anything necessarily to do specifically with Alderaan, but it has to at least, it's definitely going to, in my opinion, lead into that arc somehow. Yeah, we because we've to. seen too much where it's like, what do you just want to forget about all of that? Like, hey, he woke up on a thing. Like, what's going on there? It talk has to about be addressed. It, talk about it, Scream. That's what I'm saying. Like, if she comes in the tower. Whatever happens. Yeah. Come on, continue. I'm sorry. It might cut out again. You, you broke right. it. Oh, you're cutting oh, there out. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with my internet. That's cool. That's cool. No, go for it. Um, Be back. No, uh, yeah, I feel like it has to has to weave itself into that some way. That's kind of what I think the purpose of it might be, is actually just to weave the plot that direction. Like, you discover something and, you know, there were a hidden plot, you know, the reason why these things are happening, something along those lines. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, from a writer's perspective that's where i would go with it Mm -hmm. um the whole thing with the black garden though that i i I mean off yeah it does it it was the heart of the black garden was such a nondescript thing i always Mm -hmm. sort of harken back to there was this one little i don't know if it was in the grip it was in yeah it was in the grimoire of Mm -hmm. like one of the grimoire cards from d1 Mm -hmm. where it talks about this there's a, it's a three-way conversation going on. Mm-hmm. You you kind of get the sense that I think it was in the Warmind Grimoire. Mm-hmm. Like one of the voices talking is a Warmind. We're not, mm-hmm. I, you know, we can assume it's Rasputin, but mm-hmm. it could have been another one. I think it's Rasputin though. Mm-hmm. And it's a conversation it's having with another like godly entity mm. about the Traveler. Mm. So it's like these three sort of you know like superhuman entities or like two mm. having a conversation about another and i've always mm. sort of like i thought they were going to return to the black garden a long time, long time ago, ago. Yeah, yeah like i thought it was actually going to be something in d1 mm-hmm. um so yeah i don't really know I, you know you could always kind of make the assumption that it was that it's not vex mm-hmm. i mean and maybe that clears up some stuff but that's a pretty mm-hmm. big assumption you know yeah um, I mean, did they ever actually talk about in D one? Is was the heart of the Black Garden specifically like, like Vex God, or was it just something that they worshipped? I li- I just remember finding a whole bunch of Vex. <laughs> I was like, it was pretty vague, honestly. Mm-hmm. To my, I feel like it was vague enough where maybe it was something else. Like maybe the the heart of the Black Garden was not a Vex thing. Mm-hmm. Maybe it was something they were guarding. I don't know. You know, who mm-hmm. knows. That's where you can really get speculative. With the, there's a lot of different ways you could certainly take mm-hmm. uh, the plot of D1, uh, D2 currently. I've mm-hmm. always, ho- and I think I might have said this somewhere. Mm-hmm. I don't really know exactly what I was talking about, mm-hmm. it, but maybe it was just with Yui that, like, I've always hoped that um, rather than they've introduced so many threads. Yes. You know. I hope <laughs> that they they wind that they're the ultimate goal is to wind them together. Now yes. you can do that and still introduce new threads, but at Ooh. a certain point you go, I, I I got enough here to make a sweater. Let's <laughs> let's get to knitting. You know, yeah, like yeah yeah. Put some so, put some connections in that. It'll move it. And that was the thing. Right. Dado even asked. He's like, we're we gonna move this like move it he forward. <laughs> We want to yeah, forward, I have like, to say, if they do do another stream, I hope they have someone like that. Like, yeah, he was on fire. Was he on fire. really, that was great. Ooh. And I loved that specific question. Maybe Ooh. that's where I'm thinking about it. Like, maybe I talked with somebody about that interview afterward. But that was Ooh. one of the questions, actually, not even as a big, as a big main lore guy, enjoying Ooh. it. But, Ooh. you know, um, yeah. I really enjoyed that question because... Mm-hmm. There's a lot there, and it's it, and it's certainly interesting. <laughs> a ton of interesting things. E, what you got, man? What, what's your theories? Uh, okay, so for me, I have no idea how they connect the two first. Right. I don't know. If they do, my question is um, mm-hmm. how we get there. Like, I feel yes, like yeah. hopefully the story has a connection of, like, Hey, there's this thing. There's some, like, 
mastermind puppeteer, whatever's causing these nightmares, I think is probably not what we face in the campaign, or at least I'm hoping not. Cause I loved how like regicide was a mission. And then we fought the big version of Oryx. Mm -hmm. There is one frame mm -hmm. in the Vidoc when they show the raid and it's a picture. I can't send it to anybody right now here. Let's see if I can actually open this thing. Uh, Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to put this in chat so you guys can see it. Mm -hmm. That is a frame from the Vidoc, and there's one little image. And what that looks like, if it's not like a tree, it looks kind of like a taken enemy with like a whole bunch of tentacles around it. Because mm -hmm. it has that color, the black, and kind of a whitish mm -hmm. look. Yeah. And my only wondering is that's the other thing everybody's wondered about for a little while, is mm -hmm. Kuria, or however you say it. Mm -hmm. Oryx's other sister. Right, 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 right. So I'm wondering if like Savathun still might be the big triangle ships and mm. I don't know, it's a Kuria or a Q U R I A is how it's written. Mm -hmm. If yeah, she might. might be, cause she is now taken. Mm -hmm. She could have enough motivation and power to be able to do and cause some of these nightmares and work through the hive that way. That mm -hmm. would be kind of cool. No idea if it's even possible, but that would be kind of a way to kind of have a weird connection, still plant the mm -hmm. seed. Cause I think the triangle ships are still D three but to mm -hmm. build on some of what we've got. And I would love mm -hmm. to see something along the lines of like, Eris is looking on a map and somebody sets a gun on it and she looks up and it's older and I would just lose my mind. Yeah, I was just about to ask you the <laughs> that question. That would be so good. I was just about to ask you the origin, but what's your over-under on him actually being in this expansion? Or I can't say expansion anymore. Season of the Undying. I, I feel like they want to save him with his sister, with Mara, whenever she comes back. And she's doing mm -hmm. some grandiose plan for mm -hmm. or against the triangle ships and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to see them move him forward. I would love that, too. She's like, she's in the tower working on somebody. And somebody just, like, kind of, like, walks in aim and just completely clueless because he doesn't know and be like... Because she doesn't know him either. I think that would mm -hmm. be an interesting dynamic. Because mm -hmm. she's been off doing her thing for five years and not sure about this whole older guy. So I mm -hmm. think that would be kind of a cool way for them to meet. And she's like, hey, I found this guy. And then Ikora loses her. Like, I could, like, mm -hmm. build it up. Like, Ikora loses stuff. Like, Zavala's mm -hmm. holding her back. She's charging her Nova bombs. Yeah, Aldrin's <laughs> over, like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know who y'all think I am. <laughs> like, if, you want, if you want to start Shadow Keep. Yeah, you'd, I'd lose my mind if I saw it. I'd be like, crazy, what, what other games? Like, I don't think really they will go to that level. But I think that would have this would be a time for Eris coming back, especially if she's like the vendor on the moon, to have some way mm -hmm. to bring him in. But also, mm -hmm. like, because you could actually have that as your other storyline, because you have the campaign, that you, the storyline with Eris, obviously. But I also mm -hmm. would worry if the older one would take away from Eris. Yeah, I am worried about like, that. Because like Eris is me, their yeah. true focus, and I'm like, I don't yeah. know if they're gonna play two gonna, cards. Right yeah, now. that that's why part of me, as much as I think I want, oh, of course we want Aldrin to be there. Yeah, my gut says they probably save him from this deal because, like you said, her coming back, Marla coming back, is a big deal. That's a big deal, and um, we already see you know her and Guardian Con, she. She, she's a professional, you know, and they're definitely about promoting her. And those characters really don't have a relationship. Again, not saying that it's impossible that those two won't, you know, not meet. But, you know, I'm, I think they probably want to make it more about her and the threat and probably take it from there. But, hey, if you got some dialogue lines for my boy OJ, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be opposed. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he rolled up in the tower. I, I wouldn't be upset. Oh, I just sit back and grab the popcorn, man. Oh, yeah. I just want to see Zavala, Ikora, and Ikora's face. Yeah, just literally trying up. not to just instant Nova bomb him mm -hmm. into oblivion. It's like, I don't care mm -hmm. if I blow up the tower. I've got to kill him. Like, and you know, you know, Zavala too. would give the uh, the old uh, prophetic, I told you so repercussions of your action stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it'd be that. He'd be holding her back from trying to get her yeah, to stop yeah. killing. He'd be like, no, mm -hmm. Ikor, you're better than this. Don't do it. He's a guardian mm -hmm. now. He doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> feel so, like a Warcraft 3 level cinematic. Mm -hmm. I would love to see something like that. Like that. And again, that's where I think that scale of like, holy crap. I think that's when you, I think you do a D3. I think that's where that falls. Yeah. Mara, the Space Doritos, Savathun, if all like yep. a new race, those. 
Because yep. I saw somebody's thumbnail. I'm not going to specifically call it out. Mm-hmm. But it's got pyramid ship enemies literally on the thumbnail. It's like armor 2.0 reveal of pyramid ship enemies. And I'm going, I got Ooh. a feeling that's crap. But that's just yeah. me. Uh, uh, D3, that's D3. Uh, I mean, to me, everything since D2 ended, we, we beat Gaul and the light was exp- every single thing has been in order of expand of expansion slash season so I, I don't i i think that is literally deep when they, we have to deal with that threat yeah mm-hmm. i guess the only thing that somebody could speculate is that the mm-hmm. the void or whatever they're called like the race from that first concept art of the four races and the fifth yeah, one was yeah, the yeah. triangles they mm-hmm. are kind of these black like wispy type characters Right. And people might be speculating that the floating bodies are those, but I think that's definitely some clickbait. But what, who am yeah. I to say? Yeah, we'll see. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you guys got any more thoughts on what's to come? I know Scream, you're on here. If you got any other opinions, theories, you always got some some lore knowledge bombs to drop. Yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of it comes from just, you know, having to write a number of scripts and film scripts. <laughs> You kind of hope that they're making the same sort of assertions assertions mm-hmm. that you're making in your own mind as far as where the lore goes. I kind of agree that like it would be really fun if you were to introduce Aldrin. It would be sort of like a, like uh, you know, la- la- what's what's the gun? Um, was a last uh, word. Last, last word. The last mm-hmm. yes, the last word. Like a last word drop on the table at the end of like mm-hmm. some major like plot culmination and then you know he Ooh. says one line and it cuts to black like that's how then, that's your tease for whatever like yeah it's like right. now we go through three season passes we get nothing about him and we're just sitting there for nine months like ah like, I, I feel like we're gonna see that shot like i feel like that shot if if you see him it will be something like that i don't think right i don't think he's gonna get introduced in this dlc mm. i think there might be because like, they are gonna focus on her but Question. i feel like oh <laughs> I have a question before I forget. Oh, please. I mean, sorry to interrupt. We also forgetting about another, like you made a good point about all these threads, right? All these threads right. they got going on. What about Drifter and the Vanguard the... decision? Oh, yeah. Well, when the hell do we get that? The, 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 the culmination of that choice. I think I I if I'm, I don't think you're going to see that for a minute. That's like, D3. That's the last two. Uh, yeah, or whatever. I mean, I, I However, I would agree with you. However, they're progressing as far as D two or D three, but yeah, mm-hmm. it's going to be. Um, I think you're going to actually have to see. Uh, um, guy from Mercury, uh, Osiris first. Oh, don't like, you? I, I I think there'll be some return to him before you see anything to the Drifter. I, I don't, and I know that that might feel like completely out of left field, but. That's a character that is important in some way. <laughs> say that again. Could you say that again? <laughs> it's Could a character that's important. Lord, he's a time traveler. He's got to be important. There's no character more interwoven with the Vex lore. Oh, and please. you're going to have to flush that out. And I think Woo! if you're returning to the Black Garden in some way, it's going to have to have something to do with the Vex. So Ooh. there's going to, you know, it's like if they don't do it, mm-hmm. It's it's weak storytelling, and that's not them. Yeah, but we gotta. I gotta. I got those rain on. My... Oh, oh please. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, guys. I hear you. Oh no! All I was gonna say is somebody was saying um, when it comes to the season of the Undying, um, mm-hmm. somebody was wondering like the specific tie into the Vex and the graphic that they have at Guardian Con. It was like redacted, redacted, redacted. But the first season mm-hmm. was a picture of a goblin. So that's where mm. that comes from. A picture of a who? Goblin, a goblin. Vex. Oh. So that graphic is yeah. out there. People tweeted it from Guardian Con, but yeah. It was from mm. one of their streams or something like that, like little things they did on stage. But I was waiting in line. I looked over and it was like three of the seasons were redacted. And then the and first one. one was Vex. So that makes sense. Mm. That would make sense. To me, as far as like a storyteller, like I would want to return to that, you know, and just mm-hmm. maybe give it a little bit more. I mean, flush it out a little bit more, give it a little bit more credit because, you know, Mercury is a zone, but do we go there? You know, like yeah. maybe <laughs> the, the roundabout cul-de-sac, <laughs> whatever. 
Um, no, no, you're right. You're right, man. I'm with you, man. I'm with you, Scary. I mean, I, again, I'm, I'm really hoping, but I guess says keep it, keep it in respect, keep expectations low with that. I mm-hmm. think we still may have a while, you know. I mean, it is vexed, but I, I just I'm worried because Eris is such a dominant character in Hive lore mm-hmm. that I can't see them playing with other figures around her. Because she herself holds her own. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. That's the only reason. Because all these other things you're saying connect. It connects law wise. Everything you're saying connects. Then you're saying the backs so and no. all. I, again, I just, I'm curious. You know, she, even with Taken King, she, to the very end, and, you know, when we beat Oryx, you know, she, she's holding the sword, she's doing things. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's yeah. always in the mix. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's got a little bit of mysteriousness with herself. I mean, yeah, she helps us, but. You know, there's still some things with her that's on a little bit of the ambiguous, yeah, ambiguous slash maybe toll inside. We don't know. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you know, look, I like I like Miss Mar. I act like Eris is this this paragon of virtue that you know <laughs> that all she can. She, she has her own motives too. So I'm very curious about it. I'm yeah. excited. This this is this is a good one. This is at least should move things forward for hopefully that other stuff. So yeah. Hopefully a little bit, or teases, or somewhere in these seasons yeah. they start teasing the other ships. We're doing quests yeah. for the Drifter. We like, mm-hmm. what if it was the season of Aldrin? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I mean, you bring it. Like, the season of the Happy <laughs> Lit, though. Season of the Prince, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. season of the Prince. Oh, that Woo. would be a good game. So, Woo. and then we got Rosie, me- Rosie Hazel in chat, just dropping bombs. Like, what when Kira mm-hmm. turns out to be playing everyone, and she's actually learning to take the Taken power. Let this be, and I told you so. No, Osiris Tyron, but Vex won. <laughs> listen, listen, man. My dream season will be the season of Osiris. Trials comes back. And once y'all, oh. man, that, I would be so thankful. If they so, really wanted to blow the doors open on an expansion, that would be it. You that's know? how you do it, man. Get him oh. back, man. Restore that. Restore my warlock to his glory where he needs to. <laughs> the community would blow up. Most powerful guardian. Mm. So I just did the same fourteen quest though. Without just, re- <laughs> just had a lot of fun with that. Mm-hmm. Dope quest, by the way. Dope. Thing. You should be able to replay that strike. That, that, that's an amazing mission. And that's but, some of the ones I, I wish that you could like. If you unlocked and be like, "Hey, I want to go back," or at least I in the to... daily missions, like how they oh. unlock the Ace of Spades, those should be like <sighs> thrown in there sometimes. Yeah, maybe. those just... should be repeatable. Perfect so well, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Mm-hmm. Late, a couple of you guys joined us towards the tail mm-hmm. end. I'm definitely yeah. going to want to go back um, because the the new like free to play is going to let you do that very first mission from uh, the Cosmodrome, correct? Is there, uh, can anybody? Yes. Will everybody have the option to go back and do that? I, I hope, know. whatever way I can get to do that, I'm definitely going to go. I mean, honestly, you could there. go probably play like just like oh, I'm going to make a new random account on Steam. You could probably go get Destiny for free and do that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It'd just be so kind of def- weird to like mm-hmm. it wouldn't attach to anything though because I don't know if we'll be right. able to go back and play it. Would be cool though. I just kind of want to go in and just, you know, troll around in there again. <laughs> yeah. 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 You always yeah. looking for secrets. You want to break the map and go back and explore Some, the whole oh, yeah. with them. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Screams ready. Ready starting chaos. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> um, you guys got anything else today? I think we've speculated yeah. on a lot of stuff and looking forward to the fall. Obviously, it's kind of light for stuff right now. So just kind of mm-hmm. getting your grind on or your farm on, depending on what you're doing. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, that's about all I got. So, like, this is kind of where we'll wrap it. We are about two and a half hours, so it's probably a mm-hmm. fair time, lengthy yeah, one, but up. always, always Long with point. the guests. Uh, mm-hmm. Always great times. Uh, we'll scream. Tell everybody where they can find you. We appreciate having you on. Always a pleasure, sir. Dropping oh, the dropping the, the nuggets of knowledge and everything on us. We always appreciate it. Uh, uh, but well, where can they you find you? What do you got going on? What What are your plans for the future? And dead and silence. I mean, Perfect. Uh, that, was, that was exactly what know, I was going for. <laughs> fun little exploits that you can do uh, nice. as often as I can. Nice. Um, trying to curate as much of the uh, the raid secrets Reddit as I <laughs> as I try to. If you ever have a good uh, want a good Reddit thread, I would go check that out. But no, that's no. Um, neither here nor there. You can find me <laughs> at um, Wilhelm. If you type in Wilhelm Scream Destiny on YouTube or Wilhelm mm-hmm. with a one, W I L H E one M Scream. You'll find me on YouTube and mm-hmm. the same uh, W I L H E one M underscore scream on Twitter. Nice. You can follow me on there. And thank you guys again so much for having me on. It's a lot of fun. 
Always, brother. Always, man. Good to have you back. Heard up, I was like, yo, we had Scream on in a minute, man. We got we got to yeah. reach out to him. Man. Always, <laughs> always a good time. And you know how we get to talking. So it's good to have you. And also appreciate your support as well. Like, you're a good content creator. You're damn self. You're always teaching me stuff. I, I find out, I'm like, oh, wow, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> you know, kind of stuff. And I'm like, all right, cool. Scream with another one. Try my best. Try my best. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Salute to you, the, the channel, and everything you're doing, and, and the growth. And then I also, again, for the support, because we definitely appreciate you out there for us. I love it. I You're yeah. the guys who I watch. So Thank you, brother. Appreciate <laughs> it. Big yeah, time. Back at you. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cognito, sir, what do you got yes, coming? Sir. Any fanciness for the Sunday times? No fanciness just yet. We had some fanciness, but then we got some fanciness rescheduled. So, yeah, well, you know, fanciness is on hold right now. I'm still actually formulating as we go. So, tune in to Sundays. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm normal. You're just gonna hit go and be like, "All right, guys, let's talk. What are we doing?" You know, what I'm you know, you never know. DJ base show. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, I'm just, let me know. Come on, I wouldn't do that to you, bro. That's I was like, like that's I gotta, I gotta be word, a game, but like, I gotta get, yeah, seriously. But yeah, that's the last day. I gotta, I gotta have that to ourselves. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now, nah, salute, man. Yeah, it will be Iron Lord Podcast. We'll be there Sundays every one one p.m. Every Sunday is the Lord's Day Iron Lord Podcast YouTube channel. Please tune in. It will be a fun show. I know some of the topics already. We got some great topics that we're gonna talk about. What's going on in the industry? Some fun fun discussions some passionate uh, disagreements might happen so always just tune in. like every time always all the time always. Always. you already know <laughs> you know you don't know what lord is going to take sides with another lord for who's passions. looking for whose knees yeah there's going to be bend the knee segments there's a lot of knees all over the place actually <laughs> one time i know this is like random mm -hmm. i was like i know you guys because i've been on before and you guys are really cool you organize it mm -hmm. everybody has their point in the round table mm -hmm. it would probably be honestly controlled chaos like if you work the round table but don't give mm -hmm. everybody a preview like everybody keep your own topic and it's hidden It'd be kind of a like yeah. a secret one like for you guys to a do secret, yeah that would be crazy too. i was thinking about that one we gotta think of it's just like we can't let addict get too out of control but addicts is the problem <laughs> <laughs> Calling yeah, him out. What's up, Attic? How you doing? Oh man, salute! <laughs> no. But yeah, yeah, that's my man. Boy. Does he get going? He's easy to rile up when he's passionate about something. So it's, uh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's like the passion. <laughs> the passion is like strong amongst all of you, oh, which is always very. cool. Like I yeah, appreciate. Like, tell you, as a listener, I appreciate it. <laughs> but, no, exactly, it's it's great theater. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, you you, you can't know. script that stuff. It's just <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Yeah. Everybody's going back and forth. Some of the lines, and that's kind of the that you guys are legit. I mean, you're all gamers. We've all been around mm. the block for a little while, and then it's like you guys have those moments, and then within the same podcast, because just like ours, it can go long. You guys have some awesome, real, just down to earth, like legit, cool. Mo like it goes both ways. So it's like if you guys haven't listened to Iron Lord podcast. Check them out. Thank like, you, please, like, show some support there. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. Find them on your audio. They will fill your ears for a good time with some awesome entertainment. If you're gamers, especially mm -hmm. if you lean a little more green than blue. Um, we, we lean a little green, but to be honest, we've been little, leaning more. We've been leaning. We've been leaning, actually, leaning more Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just about, we've, I've been leaning <laughs> a little bit more red. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, man, it, it's been a struggle. It, that's actually real quick. That's like one of my greatest predictions ever. It's just the success of the Nintendo Switch. And I remember being laughed at, you know, like like 10, you know, bunch of ILPs ago. I mean, just come laughed at like this is a failure. What are they doing? And just to see the success continue and me coming in there every week, being soft with our chests out like, yes. like come on. The little engine that could did it, and it's just fun, man. So, yeah, there will be some Switch topics for sure. There's definitely yeah. going to be a Switch topic. It's been good, man. I mean, give me Breath of the Wild 2. I just got to play Breath of the Wild 1 first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Salute to Vagabondo. He said it was a good last one, the good uh, ILP this past week. Thank you, brother. And also, real quick, man, yeah, also check us out, lordsofgaming.net, man. Please, if you have any type of attention to these articles, we've got some guys really putting them good work. We had Josh Redding on here before on The Last Word. Who He's fantastic as far as his Destiny article. We've got uh, Rosie uh, Hazel, a.k.a. Dizzy, because uh, that's under his wife's <laughs> wifey's account. <laughs> but Dizzy, the editor-in-chief, man, tremendous articles, addicts writing, you know, um, the list goes on. Gondor's Condor, if you're an Overwatch guy, you like that kind of stuff. He's got fantastic articles. We just got retro stuff from my boy Big Jerseys. We've got a lot of different pockets. And then obviously, you know, you come to me, Lord Cognito, for Destiny content and Destiny articles. Just got one up right now on Armor 2.0. A lot of the points I've reiterated. In the so please, 
every retweet, every like of just checking out the articles really helps us, helps us to grow the brand, lordsofgaming.net. Check it out, man. That's all I got. I'm done marketing now. Marketing is over. Oh, you're good. You're good. Absolutely. <laughs> That's what these are for. So, mm-hmm. and then for me, um, you guys know where to find me right here, mm-hmm. whether it's on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, and Cibantis. You guys know where to find the you- cheetah. Half the time yes. talking to the ninja or yes. putting the ninja in my backpack. Ah, that's right. <laughs> and I'll be utilizing those backpacks. Hey, I'll, I'll jump know. in that PVP backpack with you. It's cool. Listen, man, that man hold his own in PVP. I, I, I've been watching him scream. Do you guys have a picture of a cheetah, a ninja riding a cheetah? Because that, that would be. Yeah, we wanted to do that. <laughs> oh, it's like, funny you said that. Out. It's funny <laughs> you said that because we wanted to. I, actually, I should say, I should say we wanted to. Shout out to my man Graphic God who did the last word artwork. And <laughs> as a joke said that, he's like, Yo, what if we put the, the ninja ride at you? He said, No. <laughs> There's no way in hell that's happening. So I voted for it, but you know, he shut it down. So we have, no. we have <laughs> the last word art is what is going on right now on screen. Looks great. <laughs> I would buy that T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I say we should just do it. to have it. <laughs> Eat, I feel it, but you know, maybe we get the votes going. Think about how many people would be like, "Is that a ninja riding a, a cheetah?" A ninja yeah, riding. these are my friends. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot He's of like, jokes no in there, and I'm, a, I'm, I'm there. You go. Yep. There's a lot of jokes that I have to basically nip straight in the butt because yeah, there's a lot of. A lot of questions I had to shoot. It's just pretty much square away. <laughs> but no, if you guys, yeah, no, I was just gonna say, if you guys haven't caught my seven stages of uh, grief video, that one was fun to put together. Oh, that was great. Do more of that, please. More of that. See, y'all don't. He don't be. He don't give y'all the eos. Right, that's part of the e. Like I like this angry e, this jokey e. Like everything is not analytical, Professor E. Bob Ross of Destiny stuff that y'all just see in the video. Like he is all he's <laughs> wild, funny, bro. Like he's mad funny. You hang out with this man. This man is hilarious just to listen to. Him. So when he's doing videos like this, these are the part of the personality y'all don't see. So I love it. Wait, like this is some. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just the fun. And, no, you know what's your best one though. Son of a dude. Get, yeah, that one. And when he got to the part of screen, what was the one where it's like you're pleading? Like, oh, the bargaining. Yeah. The bargaining. <laughs> just let me, just let me. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. I was like, it was trying to throw the Valkyrie spear like down a hallway, and it just was, it doesn't do crap when match game is on. So I was like, right, come on. Come on. You know you want to die. Come on. Come on. Mm-hmm. Never mind. Thank you. Like, yeah, it was just like, <laughs> yes. yeah, just. And then there was one point I was trying to go through, and I had like six different emotions with one little like after death. I was just like, <sighs> and then like slam my keyboard. I'm like, I'm done. I was like, maybe I can oh, figure this out. I'm like going through everything in like thirty seconds. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, <laughs> just it's all it. it's all over. Like everything, and that's like if you guys ever catch me on stream, like you guys will get to see some of those attempts live. I like I I put the video out when I did the uh, this week's like I did a nightfall with like the high roller loadout, and somebody I was summer who commented. Um, I played with her before. She's a cool follower. Mm -hmm. And she was just like, Hey, where's the one where you died to laser beams? And I was like, shh. (laughs) Cause like, I didn't, I didn't put the, sometimes I'll throw the outtakes in there, but that was one where it was like, it was a like perfectly clean run going through Mm -hmm. like heavy ammo was dropping to the final boss room. Mm -hmm. And it's a tree of probabilities where you have the lasers everywhere. And it's the final one. You have the upper tier and the two lower tiers. Yes. And I can basically cheese him. It's on the right side. Mm-hmm. And there's like the little block that are blocked. Look at Scream. As soon as you yep. said cheese, Scream said, mm hmm. <laughs> it's not even soon cheese. As the word cheese came out. Uh, mm-hmm. I know what you mean. Yeah. But it's, it's the strategy. It's like you can basically like mess with his like pathing by yes. hiding behind this block. And I just mm-hmm. like, I move on like the laser. I watch it fade away. Mm-hmm. And then I move out to shoot him. And the laser came right back and killed me. I was like, oh. Yo. And I was just, and it was like a perfect run all the way up to that oh. point. And I was like, because that boss run is brutal because you have the three mm-hmm. rooms. And if you die, even at the very end when he has a millimeter health, you're back mm-hmm. at the start of all three rooms. Oh. So, like, that whole run is shot because now it's time, yeah. points, ammo, it's all gone. So, stuff yeah. like that, you guys will see, like, the real versions of, like... And that's why a lot of people commented was, like, hey, it's like, I know I typically struggle doing solo stuff. It's nice to see, you know, somebody as well. And it's like, you guys have Hello. no idea how much I actually do. Like... Yeah. Some videos yeah. will take me, like, five, six, seven, eight hours just to have a damn oh. good run if it's, like... Like when it was Whisper, you have like mm-hmm. the amount of time to put in to learn that thing. So that video yeah. was as calm as it was. A lot of effort, <laughs> just yeah, a lot of no, time. Right. So, 
No, nope. that's why uh, we respected it. Yeah, big time because it's like you show the human element. The, again, that's what the ev- that regular guy needs to see. To like, okay, uh, okay, now I don't feel as bad because I know he's got some struggle to get there, but you still get there, and then you break it down in a way that uh, someone in common that may struggle with certain things can get there, and that. It's great. Keep it up, man. Love Facts. that kind of stuff from you. Yeah, somebody described, they're like, yeah, it's like, you're a lot better than me. There was one point and they described, like, corkscrewing their controller. And I was like, what do you, oh, you're actually, like, ripping your controller in half. And I was just like, <laughs> you got to work on some anger issues at that point. But, yeah, just uh, keep keep the controllers. You still need them. Mm-hmm. But if you slam your keyboard in half, then, well, we all understand. But go. that's all we got. So, sorry, long-winded outros here. Okay. But always a good time. But, Scream, thank you for coming on. It's awesome. Thank you, everybody, for being in chat today. Yeah, the- Pleasure Next week, a little preview. We do have it confirmed now. Travel things happen, but we got it coming. We got Red Queen coming on here. So the we queen. got an awesome guest. We got to meet her at Guardian Con. If you guys didn't hear previously, she was awesome. Ultra nice. We are probably going to yeah, talk ears off so next week. Cool. So, um, Oh, real quick. Let's put Scream on the spot. Guardian Con next year, sir. What's happening? Scream. I'm going to try to make it. Come on, bro. It you were supposed a... to be there. I'm going to try to make it. Uh, well, mm-hmm. don't, don't tie me down. I, I can't make commitments. <laughs> I... I, I have totally commitment kind of issues. Forgotten. I was actually in Montreal for July 4th, and I had okay. totally forgotten that we were going away for mm. that. We had made those plans maybe, mm. I don't know, six months ago with some mm. other friends, and Love I kind that. of forgotten about it. And But it was I was trying to kind of work it out where my, my mother-in-law <laughs> lives in Florida. Oh, so nice. I was nice. trying to figure out, like, you know, like, Make it organize work. that trip but um i guess mm. we were actually going down there in like the fall so it, it just it was it a weird right. timing yeah. this week. but Next year, um, the, date, the dates have been announced already the tickets are up sir oh yeah. i actually didn't see that when when is yes. it yes let's get him that information <laughs> if you guys are looking G-S, for current, what is it called now gcxevent.com if you guys are yes, looking let's for peer, let's peer pressure scream now live in front of the fans <laughs> So you heard it here first, fans. He said he's considering. Uh, I, I, you can get your premiere pass plus. <laughs> mm-hmm. or, the biggest thing on uh, it's the twenty June twenty seventh to twenty eighth. Oh, I can do that. That's easier. That's easier. There we go. That's GCX easier. X event. Let's get him. Here it is back go. at Rose and Shingle Creek. So the big thing that you're going to want to do if you guys are interested in Guardian Con. Is mm-hmm. to follow what are they called now? By the way, as I say things and don't know what to say, uh, are they uh, GCX? Far, GCX, just GCX event? event. Yeah, so you're mm-hmm. gonna want to follow them for sure because mm-hmm. they're gonna be the ones that tell you when the hotel goat blocks go on sale. That's an important mm-hmm. piece because what we were at the hotel we were at, the hotel Rosen Shingle Creek's amazing. It's all there. You don't have to leave. Oh, it's so beautiful. and the deal that you're able to get is looks beautiful. Was mm-hmm. absolutely bonkers. So if they get a nice deal on the hotel room blocks that they did through Guardian Con, mm-hmm. it's awesome. There we go. So, yeah, keep an eye out for those as well. So, yeah. yeah Planning so, for so next so. year. Yeah, I have no year, idea. If, out there, yeah, I was like, I, I, I definitely feel I was missing out. I, I got it was great to see all the pictures of everybody though together. Yeah. It was like, oh, I know uh, him, so, man. Yeah, I know him, man. It's like it's like a fraternity. It's like a family. We, we talk with each other so many. I had seen this man in four years. You know what I'm saying? Like a long time. It was it was dope. It was dope, man. Like it was just like it's cool, especially if you got the passion with Destiny. And then I even tell people who don't like Destiny. It's other stuff for you, man. It was Warframe, it's Borderlands, it's a whole arcade thing. They had a couple of videos up, but it's de- as a Destiny content creator, Lord, mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. need to be there. You owe you, you owe us one. That's all uh, I would say. Just yeah, one. it's like Prothean. Right. I saw him. Yeah, pretty much a lot of people on mm-hmm. Twitter were like, "I gotta turn it off, man. I'm sad I didn't go." Like, yeah. So, <laughs> and I hadn't been for like three years. I'd missed many, mm-hmm. so I was like getting back. Mm-hmm. It was the right time to go back. It was a great one. And Rosen Shingle is awesome. The resort is really, 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 really awesome. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, watch for those hotel blocks as well. But I think that is about all we got. Yep. Uh, Scream, we always try and time this, but with audio delays, it's interesting. But basically, I'm going to try and wrap it up. So, we always try and do it has been. And then all together, we say the last word. So, I was trying to wait for you guys to start. But it's like, I'll say it has been. And then all together, we'll try and get the last words out. But it's always kind of a mess. But it's always fun. So, right. well, thank you guys all for tuning in and chat. This is episode 66, climbing up there for July 19th. And for everybody here live and in chat, it has been the last, last word. Last word. <laughs> Always off. <laughs> Have a good one, y'all. Have a good one. Peace.